everybody! <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> oh boy! We're gonna have a lot of fun today! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Maybe it won't be that bad. <laughs> now, I'm not doing, I'm not, this isn't like a tier list, like ranking them in viability. It's like... It's it's like a design tier list, like how 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 cool they are, how well executed they are, how much you like them, kind of. We're not ranking them based on how good they are. All right, but well, I'm getting ahead of myself. Thank you, Enbeard. <laughs> tonight's gonna be uh, tonight's gonna be tough. Which is why I'm live a whole eight minutes early. Because maybe we could get some stuff out of the way. <laughs> you know what I mean? Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. Ranking P plus two right. You know, I wasn't going to, but they're in this list. I don't I don't know how much I know about P plus stuff now. It's changed so much. So I'm not sure, but maybe. We'll see how things go. <laughs> Alright, hold up. What is this? this? song was pissing me off. Okay. Oh, boy. Alright. <laughs> There's so much. Did you guys see the YouTube sponsor today, by the way? Ta-da! <laughs> I told you you wouldn't expect it. You're welcome, everybody. I, I, I was in disbelief. So the video just went up uh, kind of late today. Um, and uh, I don't know why they contacted me. Thank you, JJ Slater. I literally have no idea why they hit me up. I have no clue. What about my demo made them think that this was a good activation? I don't know. Okay, uh, so in case you guys didn't see the title, tonight, um, unfortunately, we are ranking every version of every Smash character in every Smash game. They gave you a hat? Yeah, actually, where is it? I should put it on. They were like, do you want a hat, a shirt, or a beanie? And I'm like... You have to ask. I thought you guys were fans. It's going to be a big, big night. Big night. If they put Wendy from Wendy's in Smash, what one would you be, would be best? What does that mean? I thought you were going to say, how good would she be? What do you mean, which one would be best? Which game would she be best in? Probably 64. She seems like a meaty, like a beefy hitter. You know? Oh, I got to turn off HelloFresh. <laughs> They're not the sponsor tonight. Thank you to whoever that was. Thank you, Sakamoto. All right. Oh. Okay, I'm going to use my activation code. Hey, congratulations. Well done. You should rank every combination of me. There's only 12 different me with 250... Okay, never mind. Should I rank every hat, too? Every outfit, maybe? You got stunlocked and you didn't show the hat. I wasn't going to. I just said I had the hat. I was going to say, should I put it on? I don't know where it is, if I'm being honest. There's a bunch of hats back there. It's probably in that. I don't want to go find it. I have work to do. I have stuff to do. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you guys saw this, too. Hold on, before we get started. Uh, fellows, he's back at it. Carlito put up another one. Oh, it's another one from Carlitos. I have not watched it yet. I'm saving it for Sunday. 
I hit him up. I was like, hey, is it cool if I react uh, to this again? Totally fine if you don't want me to. But, you know, I'd like to, obviously. He's like, yeah, 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 go for it. So I was like, sick. So I'm watching it on Sunday. We love Carlito here. Big Carlito fans. All right. Uh, let me... I have to make this tweet. All right. Uh... Let's see how this goes. All right, we got to take some screenshots. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right. Here's one. <laughs> oh, my God. Let me take a better screenshot. Okay. Ranking every You know, it's gonna be interesting if Kony is hesitant to begin with this. I don't even know what this is gonna be like This is daunting. I'm really going outside my bounds here. Hold on. I gotta get a shot of all of this for the tweet also <laughs> Knuckles is here. I don't know knuckles. I haven't played with knuckles <laughs> All right. Oh, man. Okay. We're going to get through it. We're going to get through it. I'm really trying to push my limits here. All right. I'm, I'm trying to uh, trying to expand past my current content horizons and push myself, you know? This is like a difficult role for a seasoned actor. All right. <laughs> look, at, look at this preview. <laughs> oh, my. Uh, there's got to be a better way to make sure this doesn't get cro- Oh, it's Twitter. It's broken. Okay. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, all right. That is so many. So I did the math. There's 271 of them. Nice typo. Fuck! Whatever. I knew I should have paid for Twitter Blue. <laughs> Elon deserves my $8 anyway. He wants it so bad. And for what? Give it up for the richest man in the world. I love the old Smash 64 art. Dude, me too. I like it way more. I just like old stuff. <laughs> The only thing I don't like... Hold on. Wait a minute. I was I was lying. Uh, this guy. I don't like that fox one bit. I don't like that guy. I hate that fox. That fox is so gross. That fox kind of stinks. No, he's just smug and like... I don't know. He's... What? Hey, Connie. Reporting that Hey Fi Rush is very fun. Good. Super camp, but if you were into that, it's great. I definitely wanted to try it. I want to play it at some point. This fox is definitely going to, like, lure you into an alley so you get mugged by, like, six dudes. This guy is the honeypot. He's out there like, hey, man, you got the time? And as soon as you look down, his boys just jump you. Looks like a fucking weasel. Yeah, dude. He's just... I don't like it. He's too, like... I, I, he's... I, maybe I'm just... Never mind, I'm not going to say it. People are going to make fun. It's like the fox from Pinocchio, okay? That's that's what I was going to say. And Chad's going to be like, oh my god, it's Disney. No, it's just that's the character. I forget his name. John? I don't remember his name. He looks like a pickpocket. Skeevy is a good word. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all the DDDs. I'm... I, which one of these is Project... This one. If it's the one I don't recognize, it's Project Plus. I don't, I don't know a lot of those renders. And some of them look like shit. <laughs> this Lucario render is not good. Thank you, Eyes on Text. Thank you, Disco Fever. Thank you, Mooncake. <laughs> oh my god. This is... This is so daunting. Honestly, I have a lot of blind spots when it comes to P+. I should probably just get those out of the way, which is just like, I don't remember. Like, I straight up don't remember. Uh, like, PM Pikachu. I never fought one of those. 
PM Pikachu didn't ever exist in my world. I I had never seen one in the wild, you know. <clears throat> All right. I love the DK64 art so much. Dude, DK used to have so much personality. He still kind of does. It's a different kind of personality. He actually has more personality now than he did in Brawl. What the fuck am I saying? Look at that smile. <laughs> what am I talking about? No shot you know anything about the Fire Emblem class? I've played Marth maybe six times ever in every Smash game. And I've been playing for like as long as the games have been out. But I have played Krom and Roy. Those two are fun to me. What color, Marth? Uh, ooh. I don't know. <laughs> um, probably this one or that one. Probably red or green. I would say. If we're talking brawl, brrr, probably red. Actually, green, 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 green. Marth. If we're talking uh, ultimate, Ooh, these are nice. I think I should go yellow. This gold one. I kind of like that. I like that. <clears throat> Thank you, Squeaky Arts. Ever wonder when they're going to run out of poses for Kirby to put in these renders? <laughs> yeah, there's only so many ways you can position a, a bowling ball with, with hands. That's true. They're going to run out of positions. <sighs> okay. I just noticed that I realized that pose is short for position. Did you guys know that? Oh my god! I didn't know that! I mean, it has to be, right? Oh my god! That's so cool! Thank you, Mercies. Alright, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, we have a new sponsor for the stream, ExpressVPN. I am contractually obligated to tell you about them twice a stream. Uh, probably one at 9 and one at 10. Thanks, ExpressVPN! Exclamation point, ExpressVPN, if you're interested. <coughs> God, I hate this. Thank you, Purple Spoon. I'm sick again, dude. I got, I just got over being sick like two weeks ago, and I'm sick again. It's disgusting. Thank you, Drummer. Okay, let's move. <laughs> I can't listen to Mario Party 2 all night. We need a soundtrack. But I don't know what. What plays during this? Thank you, Crop Dustin. Thank you, Bushida Brown. Rhythm Heaven? That's not a soundtrack, though, is it? Kind of, I guess. Oh my god, it is! I was gonna say, it doesn't really work because, like, you played it yourself, but I guess it makes sense. Oh, this rules! Never mind, you're right. This is great. I love this. I love Rhythm Heaven. I got COVID at Genesis. Yeah, I heard that uh, a lot of people have been coming home. Many such cases. Many people have been saying that. They did receive COVID at Genesis. I mean, it, it had a mask mandate, right? I thought that it would be... I mean, that doesn't save anything, right? Smash World Tour was kind of a mess, too. Uh, the first one. Well, the only one. <laughs> but, yeah, I remember there being a lot of that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so the YouTube video went up today. If you guys haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. Um, it has uh, it, it has a sponsor in it that you will surprise you quite a bit, actually, I think. Thank you, Congo Bongo. <laughs> Nobody is wearing masks in top eight. Ah. Well, what do you mean? Like, players in the top eight? Or, thank you, Kaz. Thank you, Stinkums. You told us about the sponsor a while ago. I didn't tell you who it was, though, did I? So the thumbnail today was going to be uh, Vince pitched. He was going to make it J-Mook and say, Who? <laughs> who won Genesis? Oh, I just said a law firm. Oh, okay. Never mind then. Okay. No more stalling. Ads are done in... 20 seconds, 30 seconds. Never mind. 
PHT Rehab fucks hard. Dude, I hate these because they're the only ones that I drink. And on Amazon, on some days, they'll just be like $80 to buy. And I don't know why. And then I check the next day and it's back down to like 40 or 50 for a pack of 24. They just keep going up and down. Brawl Wario was funny. Brawl Wario, I think, is excellently designed. I also think Wolf goes up there. There's gonna be a. Sorry, I thought I heard something. There's gonna be a lot of. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of those tonight. Good characters, bad characters. I, honestly, I gotta say, Banjo Kazooie are fine. I think I've been very critical on them in the past, but they're just you know they're kind of boring, you know. Project M Nest will be ma well made. Calling it now. <laughs> Why, what makes you think that? Why would you think I would say that? Is that Brawl Rob? No, that's PM Rob. I PM Rob is so bad. Which ones are Project M and which ones are Brawl? Uh, Brawl have this little gradient behind them. PM looks slightly... Who? I swear I hear something back there, but I guess it's just the thing. Uh, PM looks slightly weird. This Diddy doesn't look normal, right? Doesn't that Diddy look a little strange to you? <laughs> that's PM Diddy. The PM renders just look like skinwalkers something is slightly off do you guys remember that Bugs Bunny cartoon where they eat the carrots and they become aliens hold on no I looked for the scary alien oh my god okay well I looked for that and then I got a really fucked up thing on the image search yeah this one so there's a Bugs Bunny cartoon where these aliens show up and they look like this right Body snatchers, yeah. That's what PM renders look like to me. Something is just not quite right. <laughs> In the game, they're fine. It's just something... Look at that DK, right? Invasion of the Rabbit Snatchers, is that it? Something is going on. There it is. Look at that Elmer. <laughs> Bunny snatchers, that's it. Something is a little off. On these. That's how I feel about the PM renders. Generally speaking. Thank you, Rosa Chuck. <laughs> PM Fox render is my favorite one. Okay, he looks good. <laughs> That's the one good one. That one right there. That rules. He's pointing his gun and everything. I love that. Thank you, uh, Rosa Chuck. Thank you, Toon? T-W-O-N? Like two? Like the number? Thank you. Okay. No more stalling. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Fellas, you know, I've been playing Smash for a really, really long time. Like, my entire life. And I think I realized that that puts me in a unique perspective. Because I've played 64, Melee, Brawl, Smash 4, Ultimate, and even the fake one. The one you're not supposed to talk about. Didn't hear it from me. Well, I don't really have a way that I'm able to use this knowledge in practical application in everyday life, right? There's just not really many times where my knowledge and expertise and wisdom can really come into play. But then I had an idea. What if I were to rank every single Smash character from every single Smash game that has ever existed. Every single variation of a character. That's six Jigglypuffs. There are six of them. <laughs> and most of them are the same pose. <laughs> She's just looking at you. I like how it's 64, Melee, and then Brawl. They're like, all right, we got to stop her looking. We got to turn her. And then she looked at, what happened to her? Her eyes got all like a sloth. Six Kirbys too. So many Smash characters in today, we're gonna rank them. How? I don't know, I'm just gonna rank them. It's not by viability or how good they are. Um, I'm just gonna rank them. And maybe how, I, I, how, uh, how much I like them, maybe. <laughs> how cool they are, how much you should like them, how well designed they are, maybe. I don't know, we'll figure it out as we go. Join me. Shall we? Okay. <laughs> oh, it's so daunting. 
Look at this wall of characters. It's, it's so intimidating. It really is. Okay. Um. So, I think before we do anything, we need to observe one truth. There's, there are, I think, two characters that are, I think, um, above anybody else. Ever. They exist in, in this Olympus of Smash characters. And these are characters that are like lifestyle choices. I think there are two characters that have frankly done irreparable damage uh, to an entire generation. Like doctors, engineers, lawyers, mathematicians, scientists. So much could have come of the average Melee Fox player. Think of everything that the, your local Fox could have been had they not played Melee Fox one time. And then that's their whole identity, right? Like, Melee Fox has become a cult in and of itself. The lost brain power, I think, is difficult to fathom. Um, and I think Falco is also in that group because I think that the, the Melee Fox and Falco are it's it's not even yin and yang it's it's like yun and yang from street fighter 3 i don't even know how how different they really are right they're both equally culpable for the brain drain that we've seen at a societal level i think most falcos end up switching to fox then he's the gateway drug this dude's weed this guy's heroin they're both bad for you well, I guess Falco's good in moderation. Never do Fox. It's gonna fuck up your hand. You have no future. <laughs> you see people who are able to get away with playing Fox well, and you're like, oh, I can handle it. You see, like, Moki and Josh Man. And you see all these guys, you're like, oh, it's fine. I can do that. And then look at you. Ten years in, you're playing Slippy for zero dollars. You fill out an application, you know? IBDW left law school to play Fox. Another casualty. The youth of the nation is in peril. So I think those two I th are, are, are generally just beyond anything else. Um, I, I kind of want to scramble these. Because I'm just looking around and I can't, my eyes are like... I don't even want to go character by character, really. I will say, I started off with these guys in here. I think Brawl Wario is perfect. And this might be a good place to start. Let's explain what I mean when I'm talking about ranking these characters, okay? Brawl Wario is perfect as a character. Because Brawl Wario is a stubby little asshole who wants to cheat and do his really cringe, dumb shit. And he's very easy to keep out, and he's not amazing, but he has his own game plan, and it involves cheating. And he's also extremely funny, which is good. His forward smash has armor on it, uh, which can be used to just, like, shut down entire playstyles if you want and impose your will, which is a very Wario thing to do. I think they did a good job of expressing Wario's, like, distinct personality and the way that he operates in the game, you know? I think they did good. Cloud, uh, I think Ultimate Cloud is very well made. I think he's super, um consistent. I think the hitboxes are great. I think he's not uh, oppressive like he was in ult er, in Smash 4. I feel like they toned him down a lot. He's the model of a top, not maybe not a top tier, but like a high tier, like a good top 20, maybe 30 character. Ultimate Cloud is like, what? wait, there's, I don't want lyrics. Ultimate Cloud is like a good grilled cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just He's, he's very simple, but he is uh, refined to excellence. This is the perfect sword character. You feel me? He's great. Banjo-Kazooie, I'm very unhappy about, but that's just because I've been waiting for them for 20 years. Uh, maybe I got my hopes up. Maybe I'm just... I don't know. I don't know what you could have done with them to make them better. I'm really upset about them, 
but they're fine, I guess. They feel like a Smash 64 character, which is like, it feels correct, I guess. Um, they have a lot of projectiles, which is, you know, uh, kind of their thing. I feel like they could have done better. I think that uh, some shit, like the Wonder Wing 5 wing thing is like, that's kind of weird. But with them being able to split up be too much, yeah, I don't want that. Because I think they should be simple. And actually, I don't know why I said that, because they're not simple. They're very hard. It's a difficult, not fun to play character. It's really messed up. Uh, PM Rob. Now, uh, hold on. Let me make this clear. I'm going to rank PM characters based on my knowledge of them. I don't know where they are now. I don't know if Rob has a different like play style. I don't know if he has four gyros now. I don't know. I played 3.02, and that's my experience of the characters. PM Rob is bad. He is very poorly designed. Every Rob player I know is a dork. And this is a character designed by dorks for dorks. Every Rob I've ever known, PM Rob, dash out, dash in, forward air. Dash out, dash in, forward air. Dash out, dash in, forward air. Every TO you know plays Rob, and I think there's a reason for that. This guy just dash out, dash in, forward air. And you know it's going to happen, but it's so safe and he's going to keep doing it. It's obnoxious, I don't like it, and I hate it. He's so poorly designed. It's all around that one thing. Horrific. But it's not as bad as the original Nintendo PSYOP Bayonetta. D Nintendo put this into the game, said, Hey, you guys wanted it, and then killed the game. They released a lethal dose of poison into Smash 4 on purpose, I think. I think that was... I, I think it was intentional. I think Bayonetta is a PSYOP. And that's not the same as Meta Knight. I think Meta Knight was busted, but I don't think it was intentional. It's also not the same as Fox. Because Fox is good, but at least he's fun. I think Bayonetta was designed from the ground up to be a, 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 a final middle finger. That's a PSYOP. So, uh, there's a lot more to go through, but that's generally how I'm feeling about these. And, you know, maybe if I'm feeling it, I'll have more tears. I don't know. I might. I don't normally do that, you know? I usually try to keep it consistent. Um, but we'll see. <laughs> uh, I don't want to do dupes, dude. I don't want to do... Why is Daisy on here? I'll just go as I see fit. And one thing that's really coming to my mind, and only because I talk about him so much, he's all the way at the bottom here. Ultimate Wolf is one of the best designed high-tier characters, I think, in any Smash game. Ultimate Wolf is very well made if you get hit and you lose to him you know why you lost to him it's very clear it's transparent it felt oppressive at first but then people got good at the game he's great i actually think inkling is really well designed too uh i don't think they're perfect though i think she's well made i don't think it's perfect i think inkling's really well made because it's very uh it's difficult when you first fight it and it's kind of annoying, and, and the character is designed to be kind of obnoxious and irritating, which is like, you know, what Ink League's supposed to do. Very fun to play, but then as people get better, she gets worse. Um, well made to be bad? Well, hold on, because I think, uh, and I hate to do it this early, uh, I think there's a, a special tier for uh, bad, but on purpose. I think a better way to describe this... Have you guys ever seen Kung Pao? You guys remember Wimp Low? We trained him wrong, as a joke. That's what I think these characters are. Trained wrong, as a joke. Um, and that's like... Every Ganon? <laughs> I think that's every single Ganondorf, actually. I think every single Ganondorf was trained wrong as a joke. Because, like, I know somebody in the Nintendo dev team is like, bro, but he hit hard, though. Like, <laughs> gonna be hitting, though, bro. Like, what if he hits you? <laughs> and people are like, yeah, I guess. I guess if he hits you, it hurts. I think these Ganons were trained wrong as a joke. Um... I think Melee Ganon is fine. It doesn't feel like he's made for the game. 
and I think he's also just... Actually, hold on. No, he's just bad. <laughs> Wait a minute. He's bad because he's he's Falcon. This is different. Although I guess these guys now... <laughs> this is weird because I'm ranking these guys based on their competitive viability and this guy just based on his moveset uniqueness. I guess we're getting a little lost in the weeds here. All Ganons are bad. A gap. So true. Yeah. I think Ganon, the fact that he's a Falcon clone... Um, Alright, you know what? Why is this a clone? <laughs> there we go. Uh, I think PM Ganon is pretty good. But I also think that PM Ganon has that stink of... Um, and maybe I'm wrong about this. It's just my perception. And maybe it's because I lived in the same region as Junebug. And that motherfucker just it was very annoying to fight. Um, PM Ganon has that stink of like, wouldn't it be cool if the King of Evil was really strong in a fighting game? Bat chest. Same with Lucas. I love Mother 3. I cried. Like, it's a fanfic thing. It feels like a fanfic character. They're making him really good and really strong on purpose. And I, I, I think for that, he's fine. I think it's really cool. Right? I think he's really well made. But it's still... He feels a little uh, wish fulfilling, if that makes sense. Then you get dare looped by Yars on 3.02. Speaking of, where is that little asshole? Where is this little prick? Get the fuck up here. This character is so cringe. PM Lucas is a disaster. Dare, 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 up smash. Everybody's like, oh, he's so cool. Look at all the things he could do. He doesn't have to do them, though. This character's so dumb. Oh, my God. He charges up a smash attack, just like his game. That shouldn't be a mechanic. He gets to keep the charge if he hits it. Why did you make him do that? It's, it's humiliating. It's frankly embarrassing. They only liked Mother 3 because it never came out into America. Oh, glorious Nippon, Japan. Um, Falcon. Falcon's weird. I think Falcon in 64 is pretty well made. He's just, he's the, he's the backflip man. That's what he's known for. I think he's pretty nice. I think he's Mr. Backflip, and I think he has a cool combo that nobody else has. Brawl Falcon is... Oh. He's in the wrong game. I think if Brawl Falcon is in a different game, he's fine. But he's just... He, he can't exist here. It's so sad. He just can't function in the environment, you know? Um, ultimate, I think, is kind of cool. But, like, I don't... Uh, I don't know. Like, Falcon now has become more and more of a hype beast character where it's like... <sighs> He's... I think he's cooler in Ultimate than he was in 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 4. I think in 4, there's a whole bunch of Smash 4 characters. Let's go there. All right, let's do this. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. There's a whole... There's a bunch of Smash 4 characters that belong in this tier. Okay? And that's this guy who just fishes for late up air into knee. Uh, that's this guy... <laughs> <laughs> Good heavens, it's definitely this guy. <laughs> Smash 4 is full of these guys. These got wait, where is he? Where is he? Let's get him up here too. Where there he <laughs> It's just rage monsters, really. These characters are so funny. These are hilarious. Take me back. You want this back? Mr. Uptilt? <laughs> Smash 4 was a very funny game. Not, It's not funny when she does it. 
It's actually cringe when Bayonetta does it. But when any other character does it, it's actually really funny. Um, I think Junior, especially Smash 4 Junior, is in the wrong game. I think he would do fine in Brawl, actually. I think he'd be a fine set play character. He'd get fucked up by Meta Knight. But I think he'd be fine in, in Brawl. I think Ultimate Junior is better off. But I don't think he's good. I don't think he's well designed. I think it's the cart, dude. I hate the cart system. I think it's tragic. I don't like it. Um, <laughs> I kind of want to put Smash 4 Diddy in LMAO. <laughs> Smash 4 Diddy is like, he's, it's not the same LMAO, but like, it's a different kind of LMAO. Are all Diddy's are whack? I don't think so. I think Diddy, Diddy could be really cool. <laughs> Hold on, let me get away from the caps. LMAO tier is just the Smash 4 tier? Kind of. I don't know if he goes here. I think Smash 4 Diddy... You know what? No, Diddy is well designed generally. It's... He really brings the game's problems to the forefront. I think Diddy on his own is like... Diddy on his own has a really cool moveset, and it's really well made, but he really exposes the issues with the game, I think. Because his moveset is kind of basic in terms of, like, the normals and stuff. That's just my read on the character. Uh, I think Ultimate... Diddy is more well-made than the other ones. <clears throat> I think Brawl Diddy is... Brawl Diddy is actually LMAO. Because because he can't... <clears throat> Brawl Diddy can't kill you until 200, but you'll never hit him. <laughs> you will never hit him. So, <laughs> he kind of lives there. It's going to take you a long time to kill him. PM Diddy is bad. Oh my god, look at the three pet. PM Diddy is a bad idea. PM Diddy is just not good. And again, this might be P plus, he might be changed now. PM Diddy was a disaster. PM Diddy dash attack was the worst thing I ever fought in any Smash game. PM is full of very bad ideas. Yeah. Uh dude, Krom I actually think is great, but I think he's in the wrong game. Well, no. What other game could Krom be in? No, I don't think so, actually. Because he's not a melee guy. No, he's not a melee guy. No. I actually think Krom is... I would say well-made, but his recovery is so bad. Like, I'm probably going to put fine. Yeah. All right, let, hold on. I forgot about this. Let's get this out of the way. Um, These two assholes... Little Mac was trained wrong as a joke. Um, I actually think Lucario is the same in Ultimate. Ultimate Lucario was trained wrong. He just, he doesn't exist well. And I guess it's also kind of in the wrong game, but like he's been in three games. So, you know, he's, and he's the same in a lot of them. Thank you, Aetheron. Uh... What's weird to me, the character that I always think about in terms of not changing at all in between games is Villager. Because Villager is like... In Smash 4, I think he's fine. In Ultimate, he's the exact same, but he's in the a different game, which is the wrong game for him. <laughs> Does that make sense? Like... The right game was just Smash 4. He should just go back. He should go back to that game. He's the same character. He didn't change anything. That's... I think I think that's where he lives. Um... I actually think Ultimate Bowser is pretty fine. Hmm... He's fine. Alt Bowser is perfect. No, no. <laughs> no, no. I would not say that. 
he's he's no i think he's fine ultimate bowser i think is because i'm also trying to think of this at like the casual level well i guess i don't know bowser's supposed to be this big dumb asshole at the casual level people are gonna hate this guy I always try to think of, like, the college dorm experience. Those college dorms, dude, are are awash with people thinking that Bowser is the cheapest character in the game. Maybe not anymore, because now casual has bled in so much with competitive. But back then, in my experience, they were very separate. But now, like, your average casual player probably watch competitive play. So, I'll put him there. Um, I think Ultimate DK is well-made. And I think a lot of people are going to be mad at me for that because they're like, "Oh my God, his recovery! Why did you, why did you make it worse?" DK is not supposed to be good. I don't think Donkey Kong is supposed to be good, and I think if Donkey Kong is good, you, you have a problem. Something's wrong with the game. Um, which brings me to PM Donkey Kong, dude. I, why can't he do that? Huh? I've seen what Thunders does. This is a lot of strikes for PM here. I don't know if you've noticed this. Bro, it just puts you on his back and then... Uh, boom! And you die at 60. Just make the tier list PM bad, asshole. Hold on, there's one PM character that stands head and shoulders above the rest. Wait just a minute. Wait, let me bring him all the way up here. Ascend him into well-made, actually. I don't think he's perfect. I think he's well-made. I think that he is a tricky little asshole. I think he's a tricky little little prick who is designed to piss you off. <laughs> and he, he's just kind of a piece of shit, right? Um, you're a bastard with an insane bias. Listen, bite is tremendous. It's my favorite move in maybe any Smash game. I think Bite is so cool. Bite was made for me. It's so tricky! He's such a trickster! I love PM. Now, I don't think he's perfect, because again, I think Wario has a bit of that fanfic thing going on. Like, listen to what I'm saying right now, right? <laughs> but you know, I think he's great. He's he's very fun. I think he's amazing. Um. How many of your current viewers even know PM? I don't know, actually. Press one if you guys know PM. And, and only do it for real. Don't lie. There might not be a lot of people that have played PM. Kazuya Zelameo. You know what? I think Kazuya's fine. Kazuya's a PSYOP? No way. Kazuya is not a psyop at all. I think he's fine. I think he's fine. I do. I think he's fine because he is the prime version. So the problem is that we got all these characters, right? We got Ryu, we got Ken, we got Terry, and like they keep like flirting with going over the line and just making him a touch of death character. And then they're just like, fuck it. Send the apocalypse. It's just like it, it's like the doors of of the apocalypse opened up, and and like Shoggoth stepped out, right? Like the the song that ends the earth from one of his many mouths. Kazuya is this eldritch demon, and I, I I like that they sort of unleashed the beast on that. That's a psyop. No, no. A Nintendo psyop is hey, here's what you wanted, and then it kills the game. Nobody wanted Kazuya. Nobody was begging for Kazuya. Who gives a shit? It's not a psyop. Now, Steve. <laughs> now, Steve. Mm, keep going up. <laughs> Let me put him up here. <laughs> That's where Steve goes. Down? No, no. Steve goes right here. Steve goes right there. This is where he lives. This is his house. Um. All right, Kirby. <laughs> Hold on. Ah, uh, okay. I hate to do it. 
These are characters that are just assholes. <laughs> this character is, is such a little piece of shit. But it's not like LMAO, they're going for one thing. It's just like, dude, what? <laughs> Why are they made like that? PMDK is kind of like that, actually. Yeah, actually, PMDK is kind of like that. That's true. <clears throat> um, I think Brawl Falco is an out asshole. Because Brawl Falco is just you handshake for 40 or 50. This character is so annoying. You just take 50. Uh, oh, dude, hold on. Yeah, Brawl Falco and also yeah! every Luigi after... <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Ultimate Sonic is Psy OP. Oh, Psy Op. I see. Uh, I don't know why the TTS broke there. Sorry. Okay, I think every... I, okay, May, uh, bro, Smash 4 Luigi is what an asshole. Ultimate Luigi is what an asshole. Um, hmm. Other ones are fine. I think Luigi in 64, it was trained wrong as a joke. Because he just straight up doesn't work. <laughs> from my understanding. Like, with the rest of the game, the way that it works. Uh... <laughs> Melee Luigi, though. Hold on. <laughs> I had to give that to him. Yippee! <laughs> I love Melee Luigi. He's great. I'll order that later. Um, Smash 4 Cloud? Ooh. Psyop? He's not a Psyop. I, I was gonna say fanfic tier, because, like... Like, if, if Sakurai had a Goku, right? Goku has to be the strongest character in the game. That's the idea. And Cloud kind of feels like he fits that. It's like, oh my god, he's Final Fantasy VII soldier, blah, blah, blah. Like, that kind of thing. But, like, he's not... There aren't enough characters to get that kind of feeling from. So I just think Cloud was an accident. I think he was just strong, but he wasn't supposed to be that strong. You feel me? <laughs> Chemical X? Yeah. <laughs> that's really good. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. I think we have a whole tier of characters called... Chemical X that were not supposed to be in the concoction. <laughs> they got added later and it broke it. And I think Kazuya's there. I think that's Kazuya. I think Kazuya was a bit of Chemical X, but I think he was on purpose. <laughs> uh, I, I think Kazuya was the... the lo The logical uh, conclusion of man's folly. Kazuya is the, uh, is, is sort of the singularity. You know that idea that, like, when the, when, when the first sentient robot is born, he put, he enslaves everybody, and he is going to, uh, kill everybody that did not help him to be born. You guys know what I'm talking about? That's like an old sci-fi concept. Kazuya is that. We kept flirting with this idea of an FGC character that could kill you in one combo. That's... Kazuya is now here, and he kills you with one. Roko's Basil Basilisk? That's the one. I thought it was a singularity. That's not the same thing. Singularity is the point where the robots get... Okay, whatever. You get what I'm saying. Roko's Basilisk. That's Kazuya. <laughs> Kony, you should probably publish the tears individually when you post this on Twitter. Yeah, probably. I think we're getting somewhere, though. We're starting to move. You know what's good, though? Ultimate Mega Man. I think he's very well made. I think Ultimate Mega Man is very well made, actually. He's very cool. I think better than... Uh, I think better than Smash 4 Mega Man. Smash 4 Mega Man felt... It, he was designed with customs in mind. But he was kind of similar. I'll put fine. 
Smash 4 feels wrong. Yeah. Yeah, I think he was in the wrong game, actually. Because it feels like, like, there are so many of these types of characters in Smash 4. Politana 2. Politana is just boring. Smash 4 Politana is, um... in there too are these wait is this Corrin and smash 4 and Corrin and ultimate oh my god these are two different tiers renders they really don't care about this character at all they re dude sakurai does not give a shit about Corrin. <laughs> oh my god rosalina too yeah let me see. Smash 4 Rosalina. Um, no, Smash 4 Rosalina is LMAO. Uh, Ultimate Rosalina is... She's a cool idea. It's just... I'll put fine. Because I don't like her personally, but like she, she has a very niche playstyle that's only going to appeal to certain people. And I think that's fine. Asshole character? <laughs> actually, yeah, no, actually, you're right. You're right. That character is designed. Wow, you're just sitting under the platform. What an asshole. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Good point. Uh, Why is this a clone? Here we go. The hell is this guy's deal? Who asked for that? Pitu. <laughs> Oh, this is stupid. Who wanted that? Um. Now, you know what's weird? I think. <laughs> okay. Now, wait one second. PM Pit is an asshole. I've heard he's bad now. I don't care. That character is designed to be an asshole. Um, actually, that PM Pit kind of feels like a PSYOP to me in a weird way. <laughs> it's like they took a very boring character from Brawl, and PM devs were like, hold on. What if we made this guy the biggest piece of shit in the game? Right? I think, I think they, like, he was like a project. Fan PSYOP, I can't believe we need another tier. Okay, you asked for that tier. I didn't want that. <clears throat> All right, uh, now, you're going to think this is strange, but I actually have a feeling about these three pits. So I watched a Say Jam video recently. By the way, check out Say Jam on YouTube. Very uh, goaded creator. And he talked about why grapplers and zoners are hated in the FGC, okay? And basically it's because you can't play against them the same the way that you play against a lot of other characters. And he talked about the typical top tiers in fighting games. And when you think about it, it's like a really fast character, like a super fast rushdown with low health. Maybe a character that is very technically demanding, but uh, has a lot of reward. Maybe like a, a Shoto or like an all-rounder. Um, and the reason I bring this up, I think every single pit is in the wrong game. Because I think every single pit is supposed to be an all-rounder that is at least high tier. But somehow, he's just bland. He's unseasoned chicken. You get what I'm saying? It, I think in a normal fighting game, this archetype with projectiles, with guaranteed setups and combos, with pretty good multi-hits across the board, like, Pit has everything he should need, but the, it's just, it doesn't work in Smash. And I think all three of these pits go in the same spot. I don't know if I would call him uh, honest in the same way that, like, a lot of people do, but... Too honest for his own good tier. Can you stop adding tiers? Jesus, you guys, you're insatiable. <laughs> I 
Now hold on one second. Now hold on. There's been <laughs> there's been a lot of talk in the chat about one character in particular. A lot of people have been talking about one character in particular. There's been a lot of discussion about one character. <laughs> a lot of people have been asking about this guy. Uh, and that's Incineroar, who is well made. <laughs> no, you were wrong. Sorry, chatter. Incorrect. Too bad. I think he's very well made. I don't think he's good or supposed to be good. I think he's supposed to be uh, the, the shitty grappling wrestler guy. And he this happens to him. He just happens to not be good. Because you know how it is. Um... I just got a really funny DM. I <laughs> I just got a very funny Twitter DM. Sorry. Thanks, Seinfeld. Where is Melee Game & Watch? Uh, well, he doesn't function. I gotta be honest, I know nothing about Melee Game & Watch. I'll put him... I mean, he's probably just in the wrong game, right? He doesn't work. He doesn't function. Yeah, he's just bad, I think, right? Trained wrong? Oh, true. He's trained wrong is a joke. <laughs> they forgot to, to finish him. That's true. Good point. He is funny, though. How about this? Hey, guys, if you want to see a character ranked, go ahead and drop a prime, and I'll rank them right away. All right? I haven't said it one time tonight. So if you guys just want to, you know, pop one of those, you can skip the line. Um... Oh, dude, Mario's. You know what's crazy? I think Mario, generally speaking, is pretty well made. I think 64 Mario is good. Um, I think Smash 4 Mario, it, well... <laughs> well, actually, I forgot about the up tilts. I forgot about those up tilts. Wait a minute. Yeah, Mario says, Smash 4 Mario's an asshole. So that's where Mario is an asshole. <laughs> um, Brawl Mario is straight up in the wrong game. Because he feels so good if it just worked. Like, if his stuff just worked, he would feel so good. He feels so smooth in that game. And I think that's why he feels so good in Project M. Is because, like, he finally could combo. But in Brawl, it's like he could combo like DDD. -D -D. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't count. All of Brawl is going to be in the wrong game. Uh, not all of them. Falco's an asshole. I think Fox and Brawl is is actually really well made. Except for the whole, like, losing to one move on one character thing, 90-10. <laughs> but I think other than that, I think he's really well made. He's super fun. Um, are you doing PM on this list? Just tuned in. Okay, use use your eyeballs. What? Did, uh, <laughs> Why would you ask? Look at the screen. It's right there. Right? Oh, I guess you can't really tell. There's PM Lucas. I guess it's hard to tell from the renders. You're right. There you go. There you go. PM Ike. Oh, dude, that's easy. This is PM Ike, right? PM Ike is a piece of shit. I don't know who okayed uh, Quick Draw being cancelable. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. He just moved. Like, why can a fast. Why can a bruiser character traverse halfway across the stage in with an unreactable side beat? Ridiculous. Who thought that... Again, I can't believe that that ever got off the, the ground. I think it's because the PM devs were incompetent and they just couldn't change the animation to side B. If they could have made it a little bit longer or something, you know, but they just left it in and they hope nobody would notice. Well, I noticed. PM Mike is cringe. Um... Hmm. 
K. Rule. I think K. Rule is bad on purpose. He's supposed to be bad. Um, he's supposed to feel like this big dumb boss fight, and then once you figure him out, he you can't lose to him. He you're playing as a boss, <laughs> which I think is like super armor is cringe. Yeah, but like that's that's what he that's all he has is like that's his boss thing. Um, what if I, <laughs> Brawl Meta Knight is an asshole and everybody else is in the wrong game? <laughs> I actually think that might be true. Brawl Meta Knight is actually in the wrong game. Come to think of it, he shouldn't be in there. He's not like any other character. <laughs> Come to think of it, I think he's in the wrong game. We should get him out. Chemical X? Yeah, 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 you're right, you're right, you're right. Good point. Uh, I should probably explain what that is. Secret ingredient that uh, I, I, should, I think it's funnier if I just say chemical X. <laughs> I don't want to explain it. What does chemical X mean? It is it's an ingredient that ruined the game, but not on purpose. Like they added something and it just it it kind of fucks stuff up by accident. That's different from bayonetta, which I think was fully intentional. Yeah. That's good. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. Speaking of Chemical X. Oh, God. <laughs> Wouldn't it be cool if you could control two characters? Oh, don't worry. We'll get rid of that whole wobbling thing. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't know PM ones at all, actually. I think PM ones are his fan psyop. Oh, wouldn't it be awesome if handoffs and wobbling was really cool? No, it's still not cool. Alt Ices. In the wrong game. <laughs> They're not supposed to be in this. I, th I actually think Ultimate Ice Climbers are fine. Yeah, I think they're fine. I don't know if they're well made, but they're fine. <laughs> oh, dude, hold on. Uh, PM Ivysaur, get this motherfucker out of here. This dude's an asshole. I hate PM Ivysaur. I, PM Ivysaur is the um. How do I how do I explain this to somebody who doesn't? Um, P P there are certain characters in games, and I'm just going to use a MOBA. I'm going to use a League reference because it's 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 coming to my brain. Sorry. There are some characters in games that are not designed for the person playing them to have fun. They are designed to remove fun from the other player. Janna in League of Legends is that. Soraka in League of Legends is that. Okay? The idea is... I'm not trying to have fun. I don't want you to have fun. I'm shutting down you from playing the game. I think that's PM Ivysaur. Now, is this because I played PM Wario? Who jumps a lot and gets back aired a whole bunch? Who's to say? I don't know. I can't say whether that's true or not. But that did happen to me. Um, and I, I hate PM Ivysaur for that a lot. Uh, also this guy, who's, who, this is PM Mewtwo, that's a fan psyop, that's the top fan psyop. He's the ultimate life form, oh my god. Hold on, I do actually have to add something, uh, and, and this is not a meme. This is straight up, I don't know, uh, and that is, don't more tears this, that's Knuckles. I actually played the first build of Knuckles, thank you Gochu Gang, Gochu Jang, sorry for the prime. Uh, I played the first build of Knuckles at Omni's house, if you guys know Omni. It was me, Omni, I think Rez lived, and Junebug. And we were playing at Omni's house, and we played the first Knuckles build, and we were just flying around gliding with him. This was like in 2014 or 2013. And we all just said, look out for my flying move! And we just said that until like 3 a.m. I'm gonna fly in! 
My flying move. <laughs> I don't know PM Pikachu at all. Um, I don't know anything about PM Olimar, except there was some Vegas tournament, Smash 4 Boot Camp, where it was after I stopped playing PM. Like, one of the best players in Vegas played Olimar. He was like, Kony, we got a money match. I, you know, I really want to play your warrior. I'm like, all right, but I don't really play anymore. He's like, it's all right, I play Olimar. He's really bad. I'm like, all right. And I expected him to be sharking me. I thought he was going to, like, like fucking dump on me because he was, like, sharking me. And I haven't played PM in forever. I was like, okay, he knows some Olimar stuff. Except PM Olimar was still dog shit, and I, I destroyed him. <laughs> and I made $10. I, I, I clapped him. And I'm sure he was a good player. I just, that character was not good. And I don't remember what year this was. It was it was Smash 4 Boot Camp, so maybe 2015, 2014. But he was so bad. <laughs> he was so bad, dude. His up B was like a rocket jump. And it was just, it didn't go anywhere. So I just grabbed the ledge and he would just... <laughs> it was really bad. But I don't remember anything. He might be good now. I think he got updated a lot. Why is he and I don't know? Because I don't re like. I think he got updates or something. This is a new render, so. Oh, my love. I'll hold off. I need more perfect. I need more positivity in here. Who's perfectly designed? Y'all aren't gonna like this one. I think I should hold off on that. Ew, PM Wolf. Is that PM Wolf? That doesn't look like a PM Render. Look at Yoshi's dead eyes. <laughs> oh my god. Perfectly designed. Oh, I know. Oh, art. Can't spell Marth without art. Brawl Marth. Despite him being an asshole to to Brawl Ness, who I loved, is is just so fluid. He's so cool. Now, Melee Marth. This guy's a piece of shit. Wow, what an asshole. <laughs> um He's just, uh, he's just an asshole. But I think Brawlmarth is like, he learned from his ways. He's like somebody who used to be a bully, and now he's a little bit more. He's mellowed out a lot, actually, since Melee, come to think of it. Kind of across the board. He's chilled out quite a bit. He's an elder statesman, you know? Thank you, Rico, for the prime. Um, While we're talking Marths, I think Smash 4 Marth is... Mm. I don't know if I'd call him well-made, because, like, he he's so cheesy, but he it's, like, in self-defense. Like, it's not that he wants to kill you at 50 with a tipper. It's just, if he doesn't, you're going to kill him at 60 with a forward smash. You know what I mean? Like, it feels like he, fe he does it because he has to. He had to do it. It's not like he wants to play this way. He's doing it in self-defense. He just needs that, you know? I think he's well-made. Um, Brawl Bowser is LMAO, but bad? <laughs> His character. Have you seen Brawl Bowser? Hold on. You guys know the, uh, the Brawl Bowser tech, right? <laughs> Hold on. Let me show you. This this was the number one thing Brawl Bowser's did. Well, do it. <laughs> yeah, do the jump. All right, yeah. Wait. <laughs> His ass is hopping. What the fuck? Why is he doing that? For some reason, he could just do that in this game. Do you think it made him a good character? You do, huh? It didn't. 
<laughs> he was still very bad. It was literally useless, but it was hilarious. And for that reason, Bowser is in LMAO. <laughs> His ass is bouncing. <laughs> Bowser had like two good reps ever. <clears throat> PM Brow Bowser, I literally don't know. I've never seen him or fought him. But Melee Bowser uh, is just bad, right? And not like bad in terms of like the game. He just doesn't. He's in the wrong game, actually. I think Melee Bowser is in the wrong game. Or trained wrong on perp. Yeah, as a joke. Probably just in the wrong game. He's just bad. Hey guys, I hate to do it. Ads in 10 seconds. I can't stop them. I snooze them as much as I can. If you guys don't want to miss anything, you got to drop a Prime or a Tier 1. Subscribe to the channel. I'm sorry. I, I held off as long as I could. I really did. I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> Three minutes. Sorry. Coney, just turn off ads. No! Oh my god, there's still so many characters. Did I get rid of all the Bowsers? All the Bowsers are gone. Back to, uh... Dude, I don't even think... I think PM Falcon is fine. He's not even different. He's just Melee Falcon. Thank you, Liz Ferratu. Thank you, Young Casual. Like, like, PM Falcon is like... He's not different. Thank you, JK. PM Falcon low-key might be his best version. He's way different. Is he? Thank you, PKP. Thank you, Yo, it's Manta. He feels like he's Melee Falcon without any of the annoying shit. You mean the shit that balances him? That makes him not busted? I think he's fine. Uh, back to Foxes. I think Ultimate Fox um, is an asshole. I don't think Dash Attack should be allowed to do that. I don't think Ultimate Fox should... Uh, sh I don't think he should be able to heat check you on every landing, no matter what. Don't like that. 64 Fox is... I don't really know that much about him. What do you guys think? Fine? He was cool, good. I'll put fine. Yeah, he feels like a standard, like... Because 64 of the archetypes weren't really made yet, so... Melee Falcon. I think Melee Falcon is actually very well made. And I know that everybody says cringe, blah, blah, blah. He, he just runs away, whatever. But I think Melee Falcon, straight up, like... The reason he gets so much love is because, like, he's striking when you first see him. And even years later, he's really fun to watch. He is an asshole, but I think he's also, like... I think Falcon knows he's an asshole, and after he kills you in the last stock, like, you and your character go backstage off of Battlefield and Melee, and he goes to your Falcon, he's like, hey, man, sorry I had to do that for the crowd. And they're like, yeah, yeah, I know, it's fine. He's like, you know they love my stuff. <laughs> he knows he's a piece of shit. He knows he shouldn't be doing this, but he does it all for the for the fans. Because the fans want to see him. I think he's a good guy. Other foxes. PM Fox is just Melee Fox. I don't know... What's the... I don't... I, what's the difference? He's the same, right? <laughs> Except with nerfed up B and Shine. Where's PM Mario? PM Mario is really good. PM Mario, I think, is really well made. Um, but... I also... I hey, do... Do, are any of you guys PM players? Is Mario still... He's a he's actually a huge asshole. Mario is actually... He's he's kind of Falcon-esque in that he's fun to watch, but he's, he's, he's kind of a piece of shit. 
because it's just chain grabs and up throw to forward air. But it's kind of cool. I think it's cool to see a game where Mario can, like, do Mario stuff. Because even Alt Mario just does the same things over and over. Like, you see him on triplats, you know? Melee Mario is, I think, in the wrong game, right? Like, it's weird because Melee Mario, like, that game has combos, so you think he'd be better in it. But somehow, he just can't keep up. Melee Mario is kind of supposed to be mid. Um. <laughs> Brawl Ivysaur. Oh, baby. I didn't know we were separating these guys. Hold on, I have to, I have some work to do. Where's PT? Where is Pokemon Trainer? Bring that ass here. <laughs> oh, the all of these guys are Omega Laughs. All of them. Squirtle? Brawl Squirtle is such a meme. He'd be so good if he could just detach. Yeah, well, he can't. He's so sleepy. <laughs> and Brawl Squirtle is kind of in the wrong game. <laughs> That's actually kind of true. But they're so funny. Uh, Brawl Lucas? I think is... Hmm. Lucas kind of has a pit problem to me. In that, again, I don't know why he's not good. Like, Lucas has everything a character would need to be good. It just doesn't work. I don't know why. I think Brawl Lucas is fine. I guess. I don't really care that much one way or the other. And we got so many to get through. DK64 is great. He's hilarious. I love him. Big fan. Lyrics warning? Thank you. Bless you for that one. Ah. Chatter's gonna be mad at you because I love that song, but we're skipping it. Um. <clears throat> Let's go back to Luigi. Brawl Luigi feels... I think he's well made? Actually, because, like, he's he's kind of a jab monster. He's, uh, he's bad, but he's kind of supposed to be bad. And I think that's okay. He's, like, low mobility, but he feels really smooth. Luigi, I think, used to be a really sick character. I think Smash 4, like, really, they went in a really shitty direction with him. <clears throat> I will never forgive Smash 4 for what they did to Luigi. Ever since then. Um. Alright, let me get this out of the way. I love Brawl Ness. I love Brawl Ness. Is he perfect? Not double jump cancel, so whack. No, 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 but no double jump cancel was super cool because you would do the rising dare. You'd do the double jump dare, which feels so good. I think he's well made. I don't think he's perfect, though. He doesn't, he just doesn't deserve to be in this echelon, I think. All right, DDD. <laughs> All right, Smash 4 DDD is an asshole. Uh, bro, oh my god. <laughs> I didn't even think of it. I didn't even realize that that is definitely where he goes. He actually, I think, deserves his own tier. He's kind of a bigger asshole in this game. He's, he's, he's a real piece of work. 
And actually, uh, while we're here, because the honestly, uh, these two get compared a lot. Melee Sheik and Brawl DDD have a lot of similarities. They're just like the tier list bouncer. So they're kind of similar. Um... Melee Sheik is cool. Yeah, I mean, she's... I'm not saying that, like... Well, DDD's cool, too. Come on, everybody. <laughs> Come on. DDD's so cool. Um, Smash 4 Jigglypuff is... <laughs> that's a fat LMAO. I don't know what they were thinking in that floaty-ass game. Uh, oh, wait. That wasn't Smash 4. That was Ultimate, wasn't it? <laughs> I can't tell them apart. They're the same! Alright, Ultimate Jigglypuff is actually, I think, pretty well made. I think they did a pretty good job with her. Considering, like, the jab change is actually really inspired, I think. She does what she's supposed to. Yeah, like, she's not good, but I don't think she's supposed to be. She's bad? It's not about how good you are. Incineroar's bad. It's about her design. I think as the game's, like, her gimmick as the air character, if every character is the air character, she loses that that X factor. And as the games have become more aerial and less grounded, I think that she kind of lost her sauce, right? But I think that this game did the best that it could to try to give some stuff back to her. I think she's pretty well. Uh, oh god, I hate the links. Actually, that's not true. I think 64 Link is very well made, if only because he is the first iteration of what would become an archetype in these games. Like, 64 Link, that didn't exist before. Um, kind of the same, I would say, with 60... Oh my god, look at 64 Samus, she's so cute. She's precious. I think 64 Samus is really good. Um... Smash 4 Link is is actually <laughs> this is this is Neutral Air man. This is Mr. Neutral Air. Uh he's very funny. Um P oh my god, Ultimate Pichu. And and this is sort of Ultimate Pichu has been through so many changes in in different directions, but oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> what were they thinking with this guy? He's so stupid. Perfect? No, this little asshole. What? What is that Ford tilt? What is that Ford tilt? Ridiculous. And yeah, they changed it, but why did they? Why did they do that? Now the character is a meme. He's stupid. Chemical X, you think? Kinda, yeah. No, I feel that he's Chemical X, and then they took it out. They're like, oh shit, and they were able to to extract the Chemical X from the concoction. He was Chemical X. You're right. Sixty four Ness was very fun, but I think he's in the wrong game. Cause like he feels so. Uh... Sixty four Ness is weird. He was my character. I loved him. Uh, he would just lock you in shield with there, but he still wasn't good. Like it's sixty four Ness did everything a character should do. It just didn't work. I don't know. 64 Ness feels special in some way. Yeah, it feels cool. There's like... Hold on. Cool, but doesn't work. And, and who else is that? Kind of every Dr. Mario. Maybe not Melee. Who's cool but doesn't work? I don't know if there are that many characters. That are oh my god, look at 64 Pikachu. Oh, he's so cute. 64 Pikachu is so precious. 
but what a piece of shit. Melee Roy. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 I feel that. And actually, you know what? That's not the only one. Dude, I thought Smash 4 Roy was going to be so good. Smash 4 Roy is such a cool idea. It just doesn't function. Like, you get, like, in a game where you get, like, one or two reasons, you just, boom, you know? I thought he was going to be super strong. I think Brawl Sonic is cool, but he doesn't work, actually. And I, I might get in trouble for that, but I think Brawl Sonic is kind of cool. I think the idea of a character that is basically guaranteed to get hits when he wants, but can't ever kill you. <laughs> like, he's straight, he, he can't kill you until 300. Isn't he good? No. <laughs> I think, dude, I think that, like, people have been sort of MK ultra into thinking Sonic has always been good. Isn't that weird? No. Sonic uh, was not always good. Sonic is very bad in Brawl. Run up smash gives him yippee tear. He doesn't say yippee though. He says ha. <laughs> um now every other Sonic. This one's an asshole. Ultimate Sonic, I I kind of want to get this guy is a complete he goes in the front. This guy's an actual piece of shit. Smash 4 Sonic is is not a good person. Ultimate Sonic is, I think, a little better. Honestly. But not... He's, he's bad. As in, he's bad designed. He's badly designed, but he's not an asshole. Chemical X? No, because Chemical X are like experimental characters that they threw in, they already had Sonics by then. Like, they knew Sonic, right? In fact, how about this? They kept, well, no, Chemical X, because he didn't ruin the game. Sonic can't go in Chemical X, because he didn't ruin the game. Uh, I think, I think Ultimate Sonic's just bad. Uh, Ultimate Lucas, I think, is weird. I think he's in the wrong game, dude. But I don't think it's Smash. I think it's like a pit thing. Ultimate Lucas has everything to be good. It just doesn't work. Maybe cool, but doesn't work? It's weird. Like, Ultimate Lucas has, like, kill uh, throws, grab setups, combos. But I don't think he's cool. No, I don't think he's cool. He's not cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Smash 4 Lucas. <laughs> uh, just miserable. A miserable character. I think Smash 4 Lucas is the addition of the character, like, kind of a hipster tier. I don't know. I think I think Smash 4 Lucas, more than any other Lucas, is like, if you're playing him in Smash 4, you're doing it either because you're a Big Mother fan or you think you're better than everybody you play with. I don't know. He feels different. He has a randomized moveset. Uh, PMDDD is... I actually don't know him very well. Come to think of it. The only thing I know about PMDDD is I watched Ripple against HBox, I think. It might not have been Ripple. No, maybe it was Marshall against HBox. And HBox was up... It was game five. And HBox was at like 20 on Puff. And it was either Ripple or Marshall. I forget who it was. It was a DD player. I think it was a secondary DD. And all they did was fish for Waddles. Or fish for... All they did was fish for Gordos. And try to hit H-Box. And H-Box got hit by a Gordo and died at like 40 or 50. <laughs> and, and he won the set because of it. That's the only thing I know. Main to the character. Yeah, I don't know about it. Didn't you play DDD and PM? See, this is how you... He's... He fucking shatters. I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my fucking brain. 
I actually played PM DDD for one night when I was learning the game with Pink Fresh. I kept picking DDD and I kept beating him and he was getting mad. <laughs> Not like actually mad, but you know, like frustrated because like I was just back airing and I was beating him. And he was way better than me. Why didn't you play DDD? Because he's... I don't like the way he feels in this game. In, in PM, it's a lot more mobile and I liked Wario a lot. That's it. Um, I don't know. PM Falco, is he even different? My only experience with PM Falco is fighting that guy who got really mad in MDVA. I forget his name. Uh, the fucking, the Falco player that got mad at Nintendo. Dude, that guy hated me. DP, that's it. Yeah. That guy hated me. I think Fal I think no, PM Falco's an asshole. That guy fucking hated me. Because he would do like, War PM Wario can't do anything to Falco on stage. Why? So... PM Wario has to jump around a lot. PM Falco shoots a lot of lasers. And so PM Falco would get Wario up to like 180, but he couldn't kill me because I would avoid all his stuff. So DP would get me up to like 180 and then finally kill me with like a soft hit back air. I would come back on stage, throw him off stage, and kill him at 30. Because PM Wario's back throw pulls him to the ledge. <laughs> and he got really mad about it. Because from his perspective, he's winning neutral. He's doing these long, sick combos that I can't get out of, and, like, he's clapping me up. From my perspective, I killed you in four moves. That makes me better. <laughs> Economy of motion. But did you explain to him that you have one free coupon? Yeah, the, uh, the, the, the PM meme, the thing that I coined was coupon combo. Because... I had a combo that was good for one free stock on every spacey because they never knew about it, which was literally back throw into side B. It was literally a free stock, no matter what, because they didn't know what to do. I got three stocks from Chillin' in one game from that. <laughs> was Falco also, has Falco always been a cutscene character? Yes, but in different ways. No, not in not in Smash 4, actually. No. In Smash 4, no. In Brawl, yes, but the cutscene was really bad. I think in Ultimate Falco is LMAO. <laughs> he just he just does spins and shit. <laughs> I don't remember Smash 4 Falco at all. I think he's in the wrong game, straight up. That's it. Um, man, we're getting through it. Uh, PM Snake, big asshole, huge asshole. PM Snake is is is. They shouldn't have given him all that. They shouldn't have given him a tranquilizer and a C four that you can put on somebody while they're asleep and a throw that confirms into it. He's cool, but oh my god, dude. Uh, Brawl Wolf is... Uh, <laughs> Brawl Wolf is LMAO. <laughs> he's, he's trying so hard. Brawl Wolf is trying so hard. <laughs> he's really trying, and it just doesn't work. He's trying really hard. It just straight up doesn't work. Um, Smash 4 Charizard is LMAO. He's also trying very hard. Byleth, I think, is... I don't want to say well-made. Fine. Because it's a neutral air character in a, in a game full of neutral airs. So, like, I don't... I would... If, if, if Byleth was in a different game, I would think they were cringe. But the whole game is neutral air, so they added another neutral air character. Greninja is, uh, why is this a clone? And don't tell me he's not a clone. He's Water Fox. Actually, Ultimate Greninja is Water Fox. Smash 4 Greninja is, uh... I don't really remember Smash 4 Greninja. I think Smash 4 Greninja was pretty cool. 
I think I remember that. But I don't think he worked, really. I remember him being, like, weirdly... Like, stuff just didn't work, or... It was footstools? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't remember. He was footstools? He had to try way too hard? Everybody's saying he's water sheep. No, no. You fucking imbeciles. Think, think outside of the, the, the confines of your own mind. Okay? You see a ninja and you're like, oh, he's Sheik. Oh, it must be Sheik because it's a ninja. You moron. No. Sm it's not about what the character looks like. Think about anything other than up air. Yeah, or shurikens or, or throwable neutral B. Fox and Greninja are so similar. It's just landing with an aerial and trying to connect it into your smash attack. It's landing neutral air into up smash. It's the same setups. Greninja gets a couple more because he gets the dash attack. Um, he's fishing for the dash attack or down tilt or something like that. Uh, he has the same game plan as Fox, but it's just straight up worse. Coney by your logic. I mean, water smash Pikachu. four grand. No, he had wacky food stool combos and dragged down up air into jab locks. Oh yeah, he had jab locks. I forgot about that. Yeah. Okay. Sheik also does that. Sheik doesn't do neutral air into up smash. Sheik does soft hit neutral air into bouncing fish. She doesn't... That's not... It's not Sheik. Fox is rushed down. Greninja definitely is not. That doesn't... It does... They're, they're doing the same thing. He just does it slower. Greninja would be rushed down if he was faster. If he had more speed, he'd be doing the exact same thing because the characters are functionally the same. Just got here, but want to say props for not snubbing P+. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I've been I've been saying some pretty bad stuff about PM. Greninja is the same as Fox. The end. That's it. Defining through combo route only? No, it's defining through their, their, their win condition. Greninja, what he's trying to do is he's trying to get you in the air and maybe string some aerials together. Maybe get a neutral air to link, link some stuff up and then get neutral air into the up smash. That's what Fox does, and that's what Greninja does. Greninja just does it worse. It is written, I have spoken. That's it. We don't have enough time for this. We don't have enough time for you guys to argue. Greninja is spit Fox. Comment below if you disagree, I guess. I don't... Stupid. Isn't that a lot of characters, though? No. Only those two. Greninja is more Sonic. I'm not interested in your, your fucker's headcanon. It's my list! Make your own list! <laughs> I agree with you, Coney. Thank you! Thank you! Oh, jeez. Finally, some sense in the chat. Ah, Josh Man. Hold on. Josh Man in the chat. Josh Man, what's good? Everybody, please uh, bow our heads for Josh Man, who has fallen under the very unfortunate lifestyle choice of choosing to play a Spacey in Melee. It's so sad. One of the lost youth. Could have been anything, Josh. Man. Could have been a doctor. Could have been a scientist. But instead, you played Melee Fox one time. And now your hands will be ground to dust. So much wasted potential. <laughs> These two characters have changed lives. Your list is cool, Coney. Make more fact-driven tier lists. I'm trying. Hey, what a rush, though. Hey, you're here for a good time, not a long time. You know what I'm saying? Like... <laughs> Melee Fox is is heroin. We talked about this before, if anybody's wondering what this is. Melee Falco is weed, and it's the gateway. Because you're going to play Falco and be like, man, I wish this is kind of cool, but I wish I could hit more buttons. And then you play Fox, and then your life is never the same. Bro, Melee Falco is weed, man. <laughs> play Falco faded than a hoe, faded than a hoe, faded than a hoe. Uh, Min Min. Oh, Min Min's an asshole. Well, no, I think Mimin's Chemical X. I think Mimin, they were like, uh, they were like, let me try this. Oh, wait. <laughs> that was a bad idea. I shouldn't have done that. Whoops. <laughs> it's a fine line between Chemical X and Asshole. Yeah, this is Japanese Chemical X because Japan hated Min Min. They hated that character. America kind of hated her, but not the same. Min Min is PSYOP? No. You think they put Min Min in to make people hate arms? Like they needed the help? 
Uh, Sephiroth is cool, but I don't think he works. I think Sephiroth is a cool idea. I don't think he works, though. He is, like, supposed to be, like, a slow, methodical, ranged sort guy that keeps you out. Uh, if anybody played uh, Icons, remember Weishan? <laughs> Weishan's kind of similar, but Weishan was a little bit more active and mobile. Uh, Sephiroth was... I just don't think he works. He's not really slow. No, but his moves are slow. Like, he's not fast. I mean, in comparison with the rest of the characters, you know? They don't know who that is. <laughs> they don't know which... Damn! I haven't seen Brawl ZSS in a while. My bad. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, my God. Why did, they, why did they do that? Why did they make that? That's so weird. Now, Brawl Zero Suit? Is she perfect? I don't think she's perfect. She's very well made, though. She looks perfect. <laughs> The throwable items thing is so weird. Why did they do that? That's so weird. But it's so cool. What the f I hit I hit page down and I still had OBS open. Whoops. My bad. That's so weird. But it's so cool. Uh Melee Mewtwo is I think cool, but he doesn't work. I think he's a cool idea. Left end fans do not engage. Ridley is is actually I think Oh, I think Ridley is uh Psyop <laughs> I think Ridley is trained trained wrong as a joke actually. I think Ridley they finally put him in the game. They're like, "All right, motherfucker, you're not that heavy." I think you're bad on purpose. <laughs> I feel like they made a bad... Uh, they, the, the, your up B only goes like three ways. There you go. Too bad. <laughs> Ridley is definitely logical conclusion of man's folly. I think Ridley is... is yeah, fan hubris. I think you sure. Smash 4 Fox? Um... Asshole. He's an asshole. Yep. Oh, with Footstool Fair, too? Oh, my God. I forgot about Footstool Fair. Oh, dude. Yeah. No. Stupid. Oh, uh, y'all are going to hate me for this. Yoker. I think Yoker is well made. I think he's really cool. I think he's well designed, and I think he's a good top tier. I think he's a very cool top tier. I like him. I say perfect, I say you're crazy. I don't think he's perfect. I think we gotta get that Arsene a little... Take him down a schmeech. You make back air kill 10% less, he might be perfect to me. It's just bare. Arsene is a little much, yeah. They already did, they need a little bit more. Um, oh dude, hero. <laughs> I mean, Hero is literally LMAO, but good. <laughs> Hero is LMAO, but in a good way. Not like... Actually... Actually, I think so, because this character is a goofball on purpose. This character is supposed to be this dumbass adventurer that's killing you at 10 in this goofy-ass game. They gave him 30 special moves on purpose to be stupid and RNG. I think he's built wrong as a joke, but not in a bad way. I think Hero is a sick design. 
Think about his other moves aside from spells. No, but that's the point. His other moves other than spells are designed to not really be all that functional. Like, he's supposed to be designed around his spells, so the, the aerials are like... You can play so many sword characters if you want good aerials. He's not designed for that. I think Hero's perfect. I'm a big fan of Hero, actually. Uh, Alt Link. Cool idea doesn't work. The whole bomb thing, kind of like it, just doesn't doesn't really work. Neutral Air Man, I'm not. He's not. No, that's Smash Four Link. <laughs> that's Neutral Air Man. I think I think Ultimate Link has a lot of stuff, but he just doesn't put it together. Um, Brawl Snake. <laughs> Oh, uh, hmm. Asshole Psyop? He's an asshole. Yeah, Brawl Snake is an asshole. We'll put him next to PM. But in a different way. Like, Brawl Snake is an asshole because, like, he just... He already is going to live 100% longer than you, and he still won't engage. He still is running away. He's supposed to be a camper, but he still has the craziest burst option in the game with Dacus. I don't get the criteria. <laughs> well, you will, okay? I think we all understand what's going on in this tier list, right? You guys understand how this is being tiered now. Maybe you should lurk a little bit longer, and you'll get it. We're all in agreement, right, guys? Stick around, chatter. <laughs> uh, me brawler. And, and for the purposes of this, he's small me brawler. This is a fat LMAO. Oh, man. That character is hilarious. He's so funny. Melee Jigglypuff. <laughs> Are y'all ready for this one? <laughs> In a game where every single character is this stupid cocaine ass running around mashing every button every knuckle is just being turned into into flakes what every bone in your body is just being chipped <laughs> and splintered you have one character that can kill you in three hits this character I think for how unique it is. Mm. Dare I? Dare I? She's not perfect. She does kind of break the game. But I think she's very well made. She's not perfect. She's not perfect. This is a doesn't play melee opinion. Correct. <laughs> Listen, 90% of melee players will put her in Chemical X. Because she is not what, in a lot of people's minds, melee is supposed to be. Right? That's the idea. I can understand her being in Chemical X. I think Jigglypuff is cool as shit. Because I think she's distinct and unique in that game. In a way that a lot of characters just straight up aren't. I would put Jigglypuff there. Now, maybe it's because I don't play Melee. <laughs> that is that is quite a distinction. My last time really playing Melee for... Good stream, guys. Have a great night. I knew Josh Man would love that one. He's a big fan of that one. See? Knew he would love that. Hey, go ahead and share with all your friends. <laughs> Can't wait to post this one on Twitter. <laughs> You're going to love that one. I, uh... I, 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 I last played Melee for realsies in my friend's basement. With like twelve of us sitting around a setup, and I was a puff player. I love Pete. I love you. Bro. We'll do, man. <laughs> Don't wait up. Is it like ten a.m. where you are? Wait a minute. Are you in Sydney or or on the on the bad coast? <laughs> are you on the good side or the bad side of Australia? I've been to both. You better not be in Perth. <laughs> I'm on the good side. Good shit. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Melee Peach. Wow, what an asshole. At least the ones that I play on Slippy. 
Just mashing down smash, you shithead. What's your problem, dude? F actually fight. Uh, Brawl Peach. I think Brawl Peach is really cool. But she's in the wrong game. She doesn't really function. Your melee hate bias is prevalent? What are you talking about? Alright, how about this? Kirby, Kirby, let, let, here we go. This is for the melee fans. Here we go. Melee Kirby is perfect. Are you happy? There's your W. That's what you want, right? Finally, some recognition. He got the hammer move? <laughs> Kur Melee Kirby is trained wrong as a joke. Straight up. <laughs> Period. It, uh, he was he was trained poorly. Laziest bait I've ever seen. Sometimes you gotta bunt. You can't always swing for the fences. Sometimes you go for the base hit. And you know me, I be hitting a lot of dingers. You know? Uh, Brawl Ike is... Brawl Ike is... He's just jab, yeah. He's jab, man. Can he do jab to back air? That's crazy. Jab cancels are cool, yeah. I think he's fine. I think he's just fine, yeah. Um... Smash 4 Kirby... Uh, doesn't work. Kirby in general just is, is lost. <laughs> like, Kirby in general, like, I don't know what's going on with him. He doesn't have an identity. I don't... He just does kicks and shit. Kirby 60, or er, Kirby and Brawl is just... Kinda bad, uh, he floats around. Uh, PM Kirby is, I don't know. Ultimate Kirby is, I think Ultimate Kirby is a cool idea actually, but I don't think he works. Reason being, I think Ultimate Kirby is supposed to be like, he's like an FGC junior. He's like, if you fight him straight up, he's gonna kick your ass. <laughs> if you actually just straight up actually try to fight him, he'll he'll beat you up a lot. But you just run from him. And uh, he he can't really do anything about it. He's he's kinda he's kinda FGC Jr., you know. Ryu for three and under. He has baby's first fighting game character. Up tilt, down tilt, and bear are good for no reason. Yeah, and like forward tilt poke. Like, and, and, and forward air, like, drifting in and out. Like, it's weird. Why does he have, like, strangely good poke moves? But then, nothing else? <laughs> like, it's really weird. I don't know what his deal is. <laughs> if he was faster in the air, he'd be so fun. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand. Melee Ness, uh, I don't know what he does. I'm gonna put I straight up don't know. Um PM Ness Kind of an asshole. I think I think PM Ness is an asshole, right? Fuck PM Ness. Yeah, I think he's an asshole. They took out the whole uh fire exploding on shield, right? I think we need to split this asshole tier. <laughs> Are you saying we need to, like, pull the asshole apart, maybe? Maybe, like, with two hands and, like... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright. Hear me out. Hear me out on this one, okay? I need you to hear me. Smash 4 Pac-Man. Cool. Doesn't work. 
Ultimate Pac-Man. Is well made. He's good. He's good. He's very well made, I think. I think he's good. Dude, there's not... How many Pac-Man are doing it big? Everybody just sees one Pac-Man like, oh my god, he's just running away, blah, blah, blah. He's difficult, dude. I think he's... I think the way that he's designed, he is very difficult to play at a high level. And, yeah, the fact that a zoner is boxing you up kind of sucks. But a lot of characters have that. And I don't think Pac-Man is like... You can't hate the player. You gotta hate the game. That's an ultimate problem. Speaking of which... Who the fuck decided that Rob should be a perennial top tier? Who's, who thought that this guy should ever be good? I don't like what's happening. This whole propaganda. The, oh my god, it's a PSYOP. Wait a minute. Now that I, th I was going to put him in Chemical X, but I think Rob is actually going to be a PSYOP because they're like, oh my god, the, the, remember your roots. Like the fucking Nintendo controller hat classically trained that old guy at the mall. That you're, you're, you don't know if he got it from, like, his teenager's closet or if he's just wearing that for real. A hat he got at Spencer's. You know what I'm saying. I feel like Rob is like, oh, he saved the industry. Like, is this a PSYOP thing or is it... Rob was so important. Yeah, I... I, I don't know if he's a PSYOP or if he's Chemical X. Because I feel like Ultimate Rob, they went too far. Smash 4 Rob was annoying enough. Smash 4 Rob is an asshole, but at least he's not busted. I think I th yeah, I think I think Ultimate Rob is a psyop. Straight up. Um Ultimate DDD? just bad I think he's just badly designed I just think this character is, sh is poorly designed straight up wrong game no I just don't think he's well designed he's just the ledge man he's at the ledge does he know about the Gordo tra oh he does okay the Gordos <laughs> I just don't think he's well designed smash 4 Ness Boring! I am a-sleeping! Do you guys know, okay, so every once in a while, a new term will come up in Smash, uh, sort of Smash buzzwords. We didn't really have the terms advantage and disadvantage before Ultimate. Sincerely, it's gonna sound weird, but people didn't really say it that much. Ultimate was really when advantage and disadvantage came out. And people started saying them a lot. They're, yeah, seriously, I'm not kidding. And Smash 4 Ness... Advantage wasn't a term in Smash 4? Kind of, but not as much. People did say it, but it was like... Ultimate really, I think, drove it home. Because it was easy to escape disadvantage in Smash 4. Like, in Ultimate, when you're above somebody... It's a really bad place to be. Because it's very easy to track people. And you can't air dodge as much. In Smash 4, you just mashed air dodges. So, like, disadvantage wasn't as bad. You could get around it. Ultimate really, I think, cemented this idea of advantage and disadvantage, and that's why I said, like, in a previous stream, it feels way more sumo. Like, stage positioning is really important. I think Melee has it really bad, too, obviously, because that game is so punishing. Um, but one of the terms that really came about in Smash 4 was brain dead. That became really popular in Smash 4. I don't know if it's a thing now. Masher came out in Ultimate. People started saying mashing, masher for Roy. Brain Dead in Smash 4 got really popular because of this guy. This was the Brain Dead poster child. This was Brain Dead. That was the Brain Dead guy. Sometimes new phrases and terms will come out to explain the same thing. This guy's right there. Glue Eater was at the beginning of Ultimate. A whole bunch of glue eating. That was like a K rule thing, but yeah. Smash 4 and Ness up air was hilarious. No, 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 no. Brawl Ness up air. Hold on. <laughs> Smash 4 and Ness up air, air. He did like the wave thing, right? No, 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 no. Brawl Ness up air. 
Oh, I have the melee one here. Do we have Brawl? I'm looking for the Brawl one. His head got so big. Fucking... Brawl Ness up here is so funny. I guess it's also... Is it in PM? I don't know if it's in PM. Wait, Smash 4 and Headbutt 2? Oh, wait, really? Hold on. All right, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, that's not it, though. No, because, like, it doesn't get big. Look. it ju He just waves his head. In Brawl, it goes... <laughs> his head gets huge. It got big, big. Ah, oh, man. Okay, whatever. Hey, guys. Ads in 15 seconds. And I'm going to do the Express VPN ad. If you guys want to see that... It's some other, you uh, don't want to miss anything. Go ahead and drop a prime. I haven't said it at all tonight. I can't snooze. I've been snoozing. Drop a prime or a tier one. I'd appreciate it. See you guys in three seconds. Goodbye. All right. In the meantime, I got a script to tell you guys about. They actually gave me scripts for this thing. It only takes a minute, I promise. It's not even going to hurt. Okay. Fellas, we are sponsored this month by ExpressVPN. As you can see here in the bottom left, they are sponsoring the stream. Kona, use the NVIDIA. Wait, is that out? Can I download that? I'll do that for the next one. That's sick. Thanks to ExpressVPN for sponsoring the stream. Fellas, when you use the bathroom, you always close the door behind you, right? Well, you should. You don't want random passersby looking in on you. That's... What? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I was typing this in. I got a weird thing. It's the same when you go online. You don't want people looking at what you're searching for and looking at. That's why you need a VPN. Using the internet without ExpressVPN is like going to the bathroom without closing the door. Did you know that your internet service provider, like AT&T and Verizon, knows every single website that you visit? And what's worse, they can sell this information to ad companies and tech giants who use your data to target you! ExpressVPN puts a stop to this. These fat cats, these corporate shills, it creates a secure, encrypted tunnel between your device and the internet so that your online activity can't be seen by anyone. I use ExpressVPN on all my devices. It works on everything. Phones, laptops, even routers. So everyone who shares your Wi-Fi can still be protected even if they don't have ExpressVPN. Wow, it's so easy to set up. And the best part is, it's as easy as closing the bathroom door. You just fire up ExpressVPN, click one button, and then you're protected. ExpressVPN is the world's number one rated VPN uh, by Tech Radar, The Verge, and countless others. So if you're like me and believe that your online activity and your bathroom activity is your business, secure yourself by visiting expressvpn.com slash Coney, huh? Huh? Today! Use my link and you can get an extra three months for free. Check out the panel below the stream to check it out, everybody. Thanks to ExpressVPN for sponsoring the stream. I gotta do that two times a night. <laughs> check out ExpressVPN. Thanks for sponsoring. Alright. <coughs> oh. All right, where was I? Duck hunt. Um. I get what they're going for. I just don't like it. Like. Fine, I guess. Yeah, it, it, both of them. They're just fine. Like, there's going to be very few people who want to play these characters, and maybe that's for the best. I'm not... No. <laughs> not into it. Ultimate Bayonetta is... is an asshole. She's just kind of an asshole. She, she hits you. You lose three interactions, and then you're at 120. And then she really struggles to kill you. 
And then if she does kill you, she kills you with a forward smash and then she taunts and dances. Bad on purpose? I don't think she was trained wrong. I, th I would have thought that it, like a year or two ago. I think now she... Well... Yeah, she's not bad at all, I don't think. Brawl DK is uh, <laughs> a fat LMAO. Brawl DK is hilarious. Dude just spins. He's very funny. He's just, he's he's an up B and a leg. He's just kicking. He is goofy as hell. Melee Donkey Kong, also a fat LMAO. He's just Mr. Headbutts. <laughs> We're just bouncing you on his head. Uh, Smash 4 Dr. Mario, cool, but doesn't work. I like the idea of him. I think it's a really neat idea. Um, I think Melee Dr. Mario is really well made, actually. I think he's really cool. Melee Doc is really sick. Perfect? I mean, I would say so, but I'm not a Melee guy. Do we think so? I think Melee Doc is really sick. All Melee Doc switch to Sheik. <laughs> I love Melee Doc. I think he's incredibly fun to play, yeah. Um. Yeah, I'll probably play Coney Church from I'm not a Melee guy. No, I love Melee Doc. No, no, no. I played Jigglypuff and Dr. Mario when I played Melee. Um, Ultimate Doc is... Now, he's cool, but he doesn't work. Again, I get what they're going for. Like, they want him to be a powerhouse. They want him to be able to kill, but, like, it's just not quite there. It's not there. I'm trying to find more Chemical X characters. Um... Hold on, let's get Ultimate Ness out of the way. Ultimate Ness, I think, is fine. He's a fine character. That's it. That's it. Straight up. Ultimate Pikachu? I think he's overrated as hell. Not at all. I don't think so. Uh, Smash 4 Wario was trained wrong as a joke. Absolutely. They were straight up like, hey, what if he had one move? <laughs> Wouldn't it be so funny if Wario had one thing and one thing only? And everybody's like, oh, he only does that in Ultimate. No, no, that's not true. That is not true at all. Uh, Ultimate Wario will sometimes win without hitting a single loft. Smash 4 Wario is one move. That's literally all he does. Straight up. Wasn't that the whole Smash 4 roster? Yes. <laughs> but it was funny, which is why a lot of them are in LMAO. Um, oh, whoops, that's home. Uh, Ultimate Wario, I think, is... If I'm being honest, I think he's well-designed. I think he's really well-made. I don't think he's perfect. I think Brawl Wario is better. But I think Ultimate Wario is very well-made. I think he's great. Very good design. Uh, Yoshi. Let's get the Yoshis out of the way. Yoshi is... Hmm. Now... You may be shocked, uh, but, um... I think I might need another tier. Now, I may have missed some people that need to go in here. Uh, who is this for? Um, hold on. There was one. Yeah. I think. I, 
kind of think Duck Hunt's going there. <laughs> like, who is Duck Hunt for, right? That's weird. And I think Yoshi, Brawl Yoshi especially, who is this for? I don't, it's, it's really strange. He's so weird. Um, I guess this is a spot for the really weird, Melee Pichu. Who the hell is that for? Is he, I guess he's, no, he's trained wrong as a joke. What am I saying? He's a meme character. Never mind, he's Dan. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 64 Puff. Yeah, who is that for? <laughs> it's not really the, it, she doesn't really function that way. Uh, Piranha Plant is, I don't know who that is supposed to be for. Um, honestly, bro, Melee Yoshi is that. And, and, uh, uh, There. <laughs> that's who that's for. One guy. <laughs> 64 Yoshi? I don't know, actually. I think he... Like, I've seen Wizrobe. Is like... He's fine, right? He, he seems... Like... He seems annoying, but... He's so ugly. Can I get a PM Wario check? PM Wario is in well made. He's right up here. He's not perfect, but he's well made. Uh, PM Squirtle. Oh my god, what an abomination. This is some chemical X shit. Well, is PM Squirtle is either chemical X or he, I think he actually might be a fan psyop. Wouldn't it be so cool if he slid around everywhere and you couldn't ever hit him? Uh, he's... He's a piece of shit. I think he's a fan psyop. Wouldn't it be so cool if we made Squirtle a slippery little asshole that just skidded around on the ground all over the place and there was no way to hit him and he could hit you? I just don't... I hate Squirtle. I don't like him at all. Um... Wait a minute. Where are the Lucases? Wait a minute. I'm lose. I've lost all my tears. This guy, this Lucas. Who is this Lucas for? <laughs> that Lucas, I don't know who that's for. Ultimate Lucas, I kind of understand. Smash Four Lucas doesn't make sense. Damn, we're getting close. Yeah, kind of. Um. All right, let's talk about Game and Watch. Uh. Ultimate Game and Watch. What an asshole. Game Watch has kind of been an asshole for a while. Alt Game & Watch is an asshole. Alt Game Watch is Chemical X? Ooh, actually, maybe. I, how combo heavy was Smash 4 Game Watch? I don't remember. Because Ultimate Game & Watch, like, he shouldn't have a free 50 with neutral. Air. I don't think he had that in Smash 4, right? He didn't combo. He had up air. Yeah. He was he had down throw stuff. Got you. Okay. Yeah, I think I think Smash I think Ultimate Game Watch is, is Chemical X, actually. Um Brawl Game and Watch, I think is a cool idea, but it didn't really work because of Meta Knight. Brawl Game & Watch was ungodly strong. He was so strong. Like, shockingly so. But he was like a he was like a glass cannon type. And uh, he just didn't really function because Meta Knight was everywhere. It was really weird. Brawl Game & Watch, his smash attacks were nuts. By strong, I don't mean he was a good character. I just mean, like, he was powerful. Like, I played DDD, who's the heaviest character vertically in the game, and I would die to Game Watch Up Smash at, like, 110, 120. Like, 
he's very strong. Game of Watch and Brawl is a super glass cannon. Um, yeah, yeah, Chatter is right. I was thinking this before. We fit. I don't know who these characters are for. Who's playing these guys? These are meme characters that they just. I guess they're stuck here now. It's weird. Why? Why did they create them? Um, me Gunner. <laughs> what kind of miserable soul wants to play me Gunner? You already have Samus and 50 other zoners, especially in Smash 4, which introduced Duck Hunt, Villager, Mega Man, Pac-Man. Like, you already have all of these characters that are that just throw projectiles. Why do you want another one? Stupid. Get both me gunners out of there. She's so funny. No, she's not. You just changed her voice. Ha! Huh. Every time the me gunner makes it, ha! Huh. <laughs> Isn't it funny? They sound silly. No, it's not. Me sword fighter. Uh, I don't know Smash Four me sword fighter. I don't remember that at all. Ultimate me sword fighter is uh bad. He's just badly designed. He's straight up like he he's he's not a sword fighter. He's like a mage. <laughs> he's just a tornado guy. It's weird. Brawl Link. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot about Brawl Link. What did Brawl Link even do? He had like the wind, right? I don't he had Zare? I don't... He had Dacus? Kind of cool, but it didn't work. I think he's a cool idea. But... Yeah. He was bottom three? Yeah. PM Link. Now... I hated PM Link. Uh, I had to play a Link player known as Sova Unknown quite a bit. And I hated this guy so much. Um... But I actually think he's pretty well made. I just hated that up B. Dude, the up B angle is horrendous. When the up B hits you down, <laughs> miserable. I hated that, but I have to give it up. They did pretty good. Uh, Ultimate Marth, straight up in the wrong game. I don't think that's... I don't think that's controversial. Ultimate Meta Knight, uh... Cool idea that doesn't work, I think. I think Ultimate Meta Knight is, is like... He's the aerial guy, in the same way the Jigglypuff is. He's the aerial sword guy. But, the, oh my god, thank you, Neuropathetic TV, for Tier 3. Jeez. Uh, but he just doesn't really work the way that he should. It's kind of, who is this for? Yeah, I think you're right. Because, like, he's the... He's an aerial sword person... But you could pick an aerial character or a sword character. And I feel like the mix, like, he's, he's, he's like, I don't know. I just don't know why you would play him. Why not just Wario, right? If you want a sword, why not Cloud? I don't know what his purpose is. I think I'd understand you want to play him. Do you? I just think you'd rather pick one of the other ones. Um, Brawl Lucario is funny funny character that character is hilarious he just kicks <laughs> down throw fair fair character is very funny uh pm lucario is a psyop they try to make him into a fighting game character so cringe he should cancel all of his moves get the fuck out of here Embarrassing. Smash 4 Lucario. Funny! <laughs> In a two-stock game, he's at the top. He is Omega Lamau. I actually... This is some deep Coney lore. I mained Lucario for like three months because I was bad at Smash 4, but I was good at reading people. So, I wasn't good at the game, but if I got one good read, I would beat people. Because <laughs> I, would, I would get the first stock on my own merit... And I would just rage, I'd just rage forward smash on a read. It was great. 
Um, I went to Seattle for a work trip, and I, I beat a lot of really good players <laughs> with Lucario. It was very fun. Why is Alt Falcon in LMAO? Is he? That's not Alt Fa Falcon, you dummy. That's Smash 4. Silly. Um, Ultimate Ryu is... I think fine. He just kind of lost his identity. Just kind of got left behind. Same with Ken. Like they they're they're well made, but like they're not funny anymore. They're just good, and I think that they're well made. But like you now have characters that are the logical endpoint <laughs> of the FGC FGC character, you know. Um, PM Sonic, I don't really remember. I just know he has a spike, which I thought was a bad idea. Back to Game & Watch. This one's PM. Oh my god. PM was a fucking... PM was bad. I forgot about that. Oh, dude. I forgot about PM Game & Watch. Oh, they're different now? Oh. Oh. Is he not is he not busted anymore? PM Game and Watch was basically like the thing is a lot of people are like why was PM Game Watch different? He wasn't that different. If you think of Ultimate Game and Watch, it's kind of the same. Except the hitboxes stayed out a little bit longer and had more priority. Like it's hard to explain. Like Game and Watch is the same type of annoying in every game. In every game he does kind of the same thing. It's just how effective is it? You know it's going to be up B to disrupt, up B out of shield, um, up B combos in the bad games. Like PM, he could combo out of up B or end up B. Like, you know. Brawl Rob is uh, just bad. But he was fun for a lot of people. A lot of people did like him, but I, I just, I did not like his design at all. Um, but actually, you know what? I think he's fine because this was before the game was like inundated with zoners and shit. And I think as a character, he was kind of unique and different in his first version. I think Brawl Rob, and a lot of people loved Brawl Rob. The first Brawl Evo was won by a Rob. Dude, I want to do a video on that story really bad. I feel like not enough people know about that story. That's a, that's a fascinating story. Ocean was an ocean. <laughs> it's such a cool story. Sora. Uh, Sora is like... I don't know who Sora's for. Like, I know who he's for. He's for, he's for the Kingdom Hearts characters. The, or the Kingdom Hearts lovers, right? That's the idea. But, like, he doesn't... What does he do? Like, he... Uh, I think he just doesn't work. I don't think he's cool but doesn't work. I just think he doesn't. Maybe in the wrong game? I am asleep. <laughs> Never mind. He's boring as hell. I'm sick of that. He's in fan psyop? No, because fans didn't make him, though. <laughs> I'm asleep. Character's boring. Uh, S Ultimate Lucina, I think, is very well made. Extremely well made. A lot of people say she's boring, but I think she's great. I think she's great because she's so boring. And I've said this, like, a million times. I think Ultimate Lucina is, like, so basic that it's interesting. Because so many other characters are so wacky and out there. I think she's so reliable, yeah. Um, 
Smash 4 Lucina is is literally who. I don't remember anything about what she did. Actually, why is this a clone? Yeah, that's Smash 4 Lucina. Why was she there? She was just worse Marth. It was weird. She did have a good jab, yeah. Toon Link! Yo! <laughs> Toon Link in Brawl goes crazy. Toon Link in Brawl is actually well designed. He's really cool. I think Toon Link at Brawl is really cool. Um, Toon Link in other games... Smash 4? Uh, I mean... This is more like... I don't know. I, I'm trying to think of how to put it. Because, like, he was technically very similar, but the game's different. Yeah, I think he's just in the wrong game. Toon Link is, it, like, when I think of Brawl, when I, like, close my eyes in my mind's eye, Toon Link is the Brawl character. Does that make sense? Obviously, there's Meta Knight, there's Snake, but, like, Toon Link feels like the most mechanically... He's, like, floaty. Uh, he's he's kind of slow, but he's got all this weird, goofy-ass tech that only he has. Um... He feels like the most Brawl character to me. Kind of like how PT is for Ultimate. Kind of, actually. I think PT used to be the Ultimate character for me. When I thought of Ultimate, I thought of PT. Not anymore. PT's dead. It used to be. Now when I think of Ultimate, I think... It's actually a couple characters. Wolf, Palu, Joker are the three, I think. Rob is a pretty good one. Yeah. Roy is another good one. But that's the thing is Ultimate has like this weird mishmash because the characters like all feel like... Another weird analogy. I feel like other Smash games feel like all the different characters are like a plate of Thanksgiving food. Are you guys one of those people that like mash up all your food together? Because I'm not. I like my turkey here, mashed potatoes here, corn here, stuffing there, right? Other people are just like, fuck it. Turkey in the mashed potatoes, put the gravy on everything, put the stuffing underneath or on top. They mash it up. Ultimate, to me, is a smashed up plate with like 50 things on it. All the characters are kind of... Uh, there's this like weird hegemony, and it's like neutral air is a lot of things, and some characters mash, and like, it feels very similar. Brawl characters are very distinct. Homogeny, is that what I meant to say? Did I say hegemony? What did I say? Wait, hold on. He hegemony. That's not what that means. Leadership or dominance? Yeah. <laughs> Homogeny. Uh, that's not it either. Wait, what the fuck did I mean to say? <laughs> Homogeny? Homogeny. Yes. Yes, this quality or state of being all of the same kind. God, I hate it when I use a big word wrong. I sound so stupid. <laughs> Oh my god, actual knives out moment. I'm glass onioning myself. Uh, homogeneity. That's the... Say it. No, I'm trying to get it to say it. Why isn't it working? Oh, it's because of this. I had the site muted. Homogeneity. Homogeneity. All the homogeneity... Of the ultimate characters. Kind of bleeds together. Homogenous? Yeah, that's the word. I'm so stupid. The All the characters are homogenous. To me. I don't know why. Um, to Brawl, they felt a lot more distinct. But Simon is really cool. But he doesn't work. Obviously, Richter is the same. I think he's super cool as an idea. But I don't think he works. I think Shulk is similar. I think it's a neat idea, a fighter that could change his attributes, but I don't think he works. And everybody's going to be like, oh my god, the potential. Some players make it work. He doesn't. This character doesn't have it. I don't care what anybody says. This character does not have it. This character has been Mr. Potential for eight years. That's Smash 4. They're the same. <laughs> I don't care. They're the same to me. They are both Mr. Potential. They don't work. 
They're the same guy. Uh, both sharks are gone. Oh my god. Oh, dude. Brawl Olimar. This is Chemical X. Brawl Olimar is Chemical X as fuck. What if we had a character that could throw projectiles from full screen and have six of them and then they do a lot of damage? That's nuts. Who gave him so many Pikmin? <laughs> Who thought that was a... Just give him a hundred. If you're going to give him six, you might as well give him a hundred. Period. Smash 4 Olimar felt, uh... Just... Bad. Like, he's... He's trying to... Well, no, actually, I think he's fine. They did the best that they could with him. I think he's fine, actually. He's not... He's not... It's just a... A, 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 a limitation of his design. Ultimate Olimar, I think, is kind of sick, personally. I think he's sick. I like Ultimate Olimar a lot. I think they struck a cool balance. And everybody's like, oh my god, he does 80% if he gets a hit. Why did he do so much damage? A lot of characters do that, bro. A lot of characters do that. And he's so little and he's so light. I think this character rules. I do think he got nerfed quite a bit, and that's probably a good thing. I probably wouldn't be saying this if he didn't get nerfed, but, you know. I think Ultimate Olimar is sick. Then why'd you put Pichu down there? Pichu is cringe. Pichu sucks. <laughs> I'm really just scarred because I played a lot of early Ultimate. I, uh, I competed in early Ultimate, and I fought a lot of Pichus, and that Fort Tilt is a crime. They never should have done that. Unbelievable. Um, horrific, truly. Brawl Pikachu is weird. What did Brawl Pikachu do? I, I, I don't really remember much. He was like, fine, I think. Quick attack? He was the quick attack guy? Yeah. But... Yeah, I think he's fine. I think he's fine. I always thought... I think Pikachu has been massively overrated in every game. Straight up. Uh, Melee Pikachu is... Um, I don't even know what to put here. Poor Man's Fox? Yeah, I, I think it's like... <laughs> People are going to be very confused. Why is this a clone? <laughs> Why is he? <laughs> no, I don't think so, though. Yeah, I think I agree. I think Melee Pikachu is LMAO because, I, like, the fact that he just kills you with one up air off stage is very funny. It's tremendous. And it's not for Axe. There are a couple Pikachus now. There's a couple of them. Dude! Smash 4 Peach, I think, is very well designed. She's like this floating bruiser. Like, I, I think the direction they took Peach is super interesting. As opposed to other characters. Like, Peach is this really weird floating bait-and-punish bruiser. Slow. Like a tank, almost. She feels like a tank, weirdly. Um, and you wouldn't think so based on the way she looks, you know? What Peach isn't well-designed? Brawl. Because she doesn't really have... Well... Oh my god, wait. Brawl down air combos were so cool. Oh. Brawl down air combos were really cool. She would go like... Doo -doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, man. Alt Peach is Chemical X. Nope. Ultimate Peach also rules. Now is she perfect? No. But she's cool. I think she's very well designed. Oh my god. There's still... Actually, I'm getting to the end here. I'm doing pretty good. We're going well. Ultimate Snake. Um is <laughs> I think he's kind of chemical X 
in that he was introduced to a new generation? Like, I think Snake dipping out for a game made him really fucked up when he came back. Like, people can like, Zoomers are like, what is this? <laughs> what am I fighting? Because he, there was a real peril when Ultimate came out because Ultimate players d had never fought anything like that. But Brawl players are like, ah, <laughs> this again. He has a very distinct way of fighting him. Um, so I think adding him to the game, but I don't think he's, he's still bad for the game. I think a lot of these characters were ultimately kind of bad for their games. I think he's good. I think he's... I don't know if I call him perfect. But he's very high. I think he's I think he's well made. Very well made. <laughs> Lifestyle choice? Nah, you would think so, but I see a lot of secondaries of him. Um Dude, there are very few perfect characters. Damn. Smash 4 Mewtwo was uh, a fat LMAO. This character was... That character's Chemical X. Never mind. Yeah, because that character... It wasn't even the game adding Mewtwo. It was... They put Mewtwo in the ga game, and then Abadongo was like, Wait a minute. What if I just... Uh, air dodge? <laughs> what if I just... Oh, fucking... If I hit that air dodge? What if I just go ledge to ledge and just mash that motherfucking shadow ball? <laughs> what if I just cheat? That was Mewtwo. Ultimate Mewtwo is cool but doesn't work. I think he's one patch away from being good. Straight up. I think Mewtwo, Ultimate Mewtwo is one patch away from being very good. And everybody says it's his tail. Everybody says it's his hitbox. I don't know what it is, but I think he's got something. Uh, Dark Samus is... Why is... The, well, is it a clone? Eh, no, whatever. Uh, I don't want to rank it. PM Charizard is so annoying. <laughs> uh, this guy's an asshole. PM Charizard's an asshole. What does he do? Neutral air. It's neutral air. He neutral airs. Neutral air, neutral air, neutral air. At least when I played him. PM is just frustrating because a lot of characters... Well, at least, again, I, I'm talking from old experience. Uh, Young Link. A lot of people are going to be surprised by this. Cool, but doesn't work, dude. I think he just straight up doesn't work in Ultimate. I think he's a really cool idea. But... I just don't think he works really that much in Ultimate. Well, that's not true. Okay, I'm thinking about top level. Never mind. I'm thinking about top level. He does work, just not at the high level, but I didn't use that criteria for anybody else, so I'm going to move him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, like, I didn't do that for anybody else. I think my point is that I don't think Young Link works at a competitive level the same way that other Ultimate characters do. And, yeah, there are a couple, like, really high-level Young Links, but in terms of his design, though, I think he's really well-designed. Because I think he's super distinct. He feels more fast and nimble and mobile. I think he's great. I think he's sick. Straight up. Very fun to play. Uh, Melee? Or, no, this is Smash 4 Samus. <laughs> oh, Smash 4 Samus is LMAO. That up B? <laughs> what is that? What is that? <laughs> what are you doing? Dash attack up B. LMAO. Put her with the smash foreheads. Put her up there. Yoop. <laughs> Why that shit kill me though? Uh, Melee Samus is... Hmm. I think she's a really cool idea. Yeah, I think she's cool. I think she's fine. Yeah, she's alright. I think she's kind of in the wrong game, but... Smash 4 Pikachu? I don't remember it all. 
Dude, I remember nothing about Smash 4 Pikachu. All the Pikachus kind of blur together to me. We lived in a world where Pikachu didn't have a spike. I don't remember... Yeah, I don't remember Smash 4 Pikachu one bit. Uh, Charizard? This is ultimate, right? <laughs> uh, Charizard's an asshole. We might split this up after. I might split this tier. Oh, Charizard is an asshole because the guy who's playing him has basically conceded that if the match continues to go this way, you are going to win. So it's either back throw, back air, or a flare blitz. He's just straight up like, all right, motherfucker. <laughs> Well, you're in the danger zone now. I'm changing the rules of this game. Charizard is like, no, I'm changing this. Now we're playing my game. <laughs> no true sportsman would go Charizard in a real match. Now you're playing RPS. Yeah, you're playing the Flare Blitz game. I'm going to Flare Blitz at, at, at some random point, And if you block it, you win. If I hit it, I win. That's it. We're, we're coin flipping. <laughs> if you get hit, it's your own fault. <laughs> uh, what is this? Ultimate Toon Link? Wrong game. He's in the wrong game. Straight up. I don't know why he's in this game. Doesn't make sense. It's weird. Um, Ultimate Mario is... I think cool, but also an asshole. <laughs> He's an asshole, actually. <laughs> Put him in Yippee? No, that's Yahoo. Yeah, we I, we need two asshole tiers. We're gonna add, we're gonna we're gonna split that up. We'll split it up. Smash Four Yoshi. Who wanted to play this? This is weird. Who was this for? Yoshi in general is such a weird character. Who wants to play that? Not common. Um. Oh, dude. Smash 4 Zero Suit. <laughs> wow! What an asshole! Oh, that's ultimate? Oh, is it? Hold on. Oh, it is. You're right. Damn. Piece of shit character. <laughs> All right, ultimate zero suit is just. Um. Honestly, I think she's badly designed. I think she just doesn't really work. Uh. Now. Now. I think only in comparison. She's not bad. I Okay, let me be clear. I don't think the character is bad. I think her design now isn't good. I think she just straight up, like... You have to play at the other person's tempo so much with her, it feels like. Because the other characters just sort of set the pace so much better. She's cool, but doesn't work. Ah, I think it, that's better. I think that's better, yeah. Yeah. Because, like, I'm not saying she's a bad character, because she's not. I think it's just, like... I think you should change it to bad design. This doesn't mean they're bad characters. This is bad design. Rob isn't bad in PM. Lucas isn't bad in PM. They're badly... They're, they're just not made well. But some people will read it wrong, so maybe I should change it. Ultimate Samus is annoying as hell. But... Fine. I think. Fine. No, Ultimate Samus is an asshole. You should get sit at the ledge, full hop fair. Yeah, Ultimate Samus is an asshole. God, this asshole tier is huge. But the fine tier is also pretty big. Well-made tier is big too. Okay, it's not as bad as I thought. Got it. Uh, Brawler in Ultimate is... I think he's fine. 
Asshole? No, I think he's fine. I think he's fine. LMAO. <laughs> all right, I'll, all right, I'll give it up. I'll give it up for LMAO. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah, I feel that. Uh, Smash 4 Ike? I don't remember anything. Ultimate Ike. Um, is, is, is Chemical X. Now, this is gonna sound weird. Ultimate Ike is just like, what if a game, which is all punishes and neutral airs, right? Punish games and how far you can go with a single hit. It's like, what if we gave you a character that could kill you at 40 uh, from any neutral air hit on PS2? <laughs> you just neutral air up, neutral air up, up air. It's just, that's kind of wacky. And I don't think he's like... I don't think he's good now, but I think when the game came out, it was like nonsense. Also, upbeat killing. Yeah, what were they doing? He also didn't have the same voice actor and was given a twink voice. Yeah, the upbeat killing is very... Oh, God, ads are starting now. D drop a primer, you're gonna get ads. You're gonna get ads. Subscribe now. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, you took too long. <laughs> I think PM, I, I think Ultimate Ike is like, I think that neutral air being that good into those up airs was too, I think that was some chemical X shit. Not anymore though. He got worse. But I still would keep it there, actually. Now, I, I would keep him there. I don't care. Ultimate Ivysaur is, uh... Who for? No, I, I think that, like, Ultimate Yoshi... Yoshi has, uh, this consistent reputation for, like... Everybody thinks he's super strong at the beginning. Everybody thinks he's ungodly powerful. And they're like, oh my god, this character's so underrepresented. Nobody's playing on it. You guys are sleeping on Yoshi. And then he never does anything. He just, it's failure to launch every time. Ultimate Yoshi doesn't... Oh, wait a minute. I'm thinking about what Ultimate Yoshi does. The down airs. The up airs. Why does back air kill? He's an asshole. Why did they make back your kill? Stupid. Oh, jeez. Uh, PM Wolf is... I don't know. I haven't fought it enough. I fought Junebug's PM Wolf, and I get annoyed because I can't do anything about Shine. He's like, don't shield. I'm like, okay, well, what do I do? Get hit. Okay. <laughs> uh, PM Luigi is funny. The fact that you could store... A misfire charge is very funny. That's LMAO. Surely. Um, Brawl Jigglypuff is bad. Like a bad idea. They should have never done that. Poorly designed. Because again, it's like you made the aerial game and you put the aerial character in it, but now every character has aerial. It's just seriously terrible. Very poorly designed. Um. Oh, jeez. I haven't done Aegis yet. Pyramithra. Uh. Pyramithra are. I don't know. I actually think they're here. Come to think of it. Because I think the same way that Kazuya represents the logical endpoint of the FGC conversation, Pyra and Mithra represent, like, alright, sword characters and neutral dominators taken to their total extremes. This is a sword character that will fundamentally, and just by the nature of existing, sort of win every interaction and do 40 to 50 for it. <laughs> Like, Mithra will hit you out of anything. Like, any weird hit will, will just... She'll just chain it into, like, 30, 40, 50. 
And I think these are like the same way that Kazuya is the endpoint for FGC. I think these two are the endpoint for sword characters in a very like bland dystopian way. <laughs> like a weirdly boring way. You know, it looks flashy, but really it's just it's it's down tilt to up air like every other character does. Right? Melee Link? I have no idea. Is this character cool? Straight up. I think that, but with Cloud? I think Cloud is distinct enough to have his own feeling. Bomb Tech is cool for Link. I'm just gonna put him here. I straight up don't know. I don't know what he does. Uh, oh, wow. We only have... It all fits on one screen now. Brawl Samus does not work. Doesn't function. At all. <laughs> Not one bit. Straight up. Uh, ultimate Pokemon Trainer? I guess if I split up the three, him on his own, he is... Fine. Just kind of boring. Because, like, I, I've said this before, and a lot of people think that Pokemon Trainer is really well designed. I disagree. I think he's so, like, paint by numbers that he's kind of boring. But that's just me. Um, What is this? PM Peach? Don't know. I don't feel like she's that different. I played a lot, a lot in PM. But I don't remember distinctly, like, the melee, the melee switch from melee to PM... I didn't play Melee enough to know what was different. Like, same with Fox and Falco. I just fought them the same, that, the same way that I fought those characters when I played Melee, and it, and it worked. But it felt the same? Like, I don't know. Ultimate Palutena. Oh, my God. Uh... You can't give a character everything. <laughs> you can't give a character everything. But yeah, you kind of can. I'm sleeping. <laughs> Look at these two. Aw, oh, sis. I'm sleeping. Nah, she's an asshole, actually. Yeah. She's just oppressive. Um. What is this? PM Jigglypuff? I don't know. What the fuck does PM Jigglypuff do? Actually, now that I think about it, what does PM Jigglypuff do? Huh? Still just bears. Worst melee puff. Yeah, she's just bad Wario, right? Like, wait a minute. Wario is literally the same character, but way better. That's really funny. Okay. Uh, Dark Samus, I'm not ranking. PM Marth, don't know. Um, Smash 4 Meta Knight. <laughs> a two-move Timmy. That's a two-move Timmy. Go back up in the Smash 4 tier with your boys. There we go. <laughs> the two-move Thomas. All right. Um, Zelda. Bad. Bad. Every Zelda's bad. These are badly designed characters. What are they thinking? Uh, Ultimate Zelda is... I know who it's for, and it's for an asshole. Um, Smash 4, bad. Hold on. Let's, let's change this. This design sucks. <laughs> yeah, but it's not design. People are going to think that means the render. Uh, this sucks to play against. You think that's good? Like, badly designed. Eh. Wow, this sucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's probably the best one. <laughs> I don't know why the text is doing that, but there you go.
I hate this. <laughs> uh, Brawl Sheik is actually really cool, but she's definitely in the wrong game. Or she doesn't work. Is she in the wrong game? No, I think she just doesn't work. Like, she's in the right game. It just, like, it doesn't quite string together. Brawl Sheik is really neat to watch, but it just, like, she's missing some stuff. PM Meta Knight, I don't remember except for the down air. I think he was an asshole, but I don't remember. Um, PM MK Top 3. I remember him... God, I don't really remember him much. He's fixed Puff. <laughs> I don't remember, so I'm not going to rank it. Ultimate uh, Pikachu, I think, is mad overrated, bro. I got to be honest. Um, where do we put him? Honestly, I think he's well made. I think he's neat. I think he's a well-made character. Everybody whines and says he's top three and so oppressive and, and broken, but, like, there's none of them. Pikachu in general is mad annoying to fight. Yeah, but, like, I still... Th I think there's a reason there are so few. I can understand he's frustrating, but, like, I think he's hard to play. Pancaking is really stupid. I, d I don't think we could still complain about... I don't think we could still complain about that in 2023 it's been four years right come on let's move past it we can get through it it's annoying sure but that's what the character does he just he just shifts around and moves around we don't still say that about inkling yeah it's been years and he still hasn't been fixed yeah and he doesn't even he doesn't want anything either he won a glitch he won one glitch <laughs> Come on. Yeah, I think Mithra is a worse offender. That's a good point. He won two glitches? Oh, wait, really? Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, that might be a little different. All right, you might be you might be right on that. Uh, Pirate Mithra, do I need to rank them individually? No, it's fine. Smash 4 Game & Watch? I don't remember. Again, I j apparently he had like a lot of grab stuff, down throw stuff. I don't know. Just up air cheese, yeah. I... Well, if he's Smash 4 cheese, I know where that goes. <laughs> Smash 4 cheese all belongs in the same place. Um, PM Zero Suit, I don't remember. Melee sh or PM Sheik is just the same as the other character. Like, all of these melee characters, Marth, Jigglypuff, Peach, she I don't know what makes them distinct. They feel so similar. Um, PM Roy, same. Don't know what makes them different. I wasn't around for the era of PM Roy. I never fought one. And I know that there's like Cephalon and Lunchables and stuff, but... Um, I hear PM Samus is neat. She's got a lot of different stuff. But I think she's really different now, right? They keep updating her. Was it PM Roy really cool? That's what people say. Ah, that actually might be a psyop. Good point. Good call. At Samus 2. You got ice mode? That's a psyop. Yep, you're right. Yep, she got the ice mode. But wait, is she busted? It's only a psyop if they're really strong. Is PM Samus crazy? No, she's bad. All right, she's... <laughs> Melee Young Link. I don't know enough to say this. I think he's really cool. He looks cool. He's sick but bad. Wrong game. You think so? Actually, yeah. Melee Young Link. If you put him in Brawl, I bet he'd be cool. And it's not Toon Link. Like, Toon Link is... It's so funny, because, like... Melee Young Link and Brawl would have been really fun. But it's... Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I see that. Yeah. 
All right. Oh, dude, Ultimate Roy. How do we go this far without Ultimate Roy? Oh, my God. Look at the... Hungry Box? Should we raid Hungry Box once you're done streaming? Is this... This is the Incineroar guy, right? <laughs> is that you, Hungry Box? Is that you? Hungry Box, you should be tending to your stream. Hungry Box, you're streaming right now. Your chat's missing you. What is this commitment? He's got two PCs open? A Hungry Box alt account? <laughs> Dude's on his burner. Uh, melee. Oh, dude, I hated PM Sheik. Psyop. Hate, or P PM Zelda. Hated PM Zelda. Psyop. Actual Psyop. That whole. The fucking. The Din's Fire thing was obnoxious. I hated that thing. Unbelievable. Didn't like it. He must be using the NVIDIA eye, track, eye contact super technology. I gotta download that. I forgot about that. Oh. I gotta get that. That's it. Apparently, you can put it on actual videos. And I can't wait to, like... I have some ideas for just, like... You just put that on Shrek. <laughs> Shrek, but he looks at the camera the whole time. Right? You can put that on all types of footage in, in movies. It's great. Full eye contact in, in all types of movies and videos, just changing everything. Terrific. Uh, sorry, Ultimate Roy. Ultimate Roy, I think... Is sick. I think he's really well made. I think it's really cool to have a character like this. I don't think he's perfect. Don't think he's perfect. I think that side B needs... Somebody's got to answer for that. Somebody at Nintendo needs to needs to be held accountable for that shit. I think that's that needs a little... <laughs> come on. We didn't need that. But I think it's well done. Ultimate Sheik? Wait, which one? Th this one. <laughs> Ultimate Sheik. Fine. Wrong game? No, she... She... No, she works. It's like... I'll put her in fine. She's fine. I don't think she's well done. I, I think people have a boner for Sheik because she... She can do well. And so when she does, people are like really excited for it. But I don't think she's like that cool. Uh, Smash 4 Sheik. <laughs> what an asshole. What an asshole! Down throw, the up B 50-50? I hate that. Stupid. Just fishing. Ultimate Squirtle, uh, I think is really cool, actually. Uh, but he's kind of boring. Because he only does one thing. I think he's fine. Because he's cool, but he's just like Mr. Down Throw, Mr. D Dare, Fair Trains. Yeah. He's annoying. Yeah. I got, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he's an asshole. Yeah. No, you're right. Because he only wants the one thing. Um, Terry. <laughs> Terry is LMAO. Terry is a fat LMAO. Yippee! <laughs> That's good. That's really funny. Terry is also in the yippee tier. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> I like that. No, but he's not. He's not. He's not. He's not. Uh, he's in LMAO. I don't think he's in the yippee tier. Um, PM Toon Link, I don't know. Don't know. Haven't fought him enough. And then there's these guys who are the duos. I'm not doing those. Uh, and then Pyra and Mithraid link together because they're usually played together. The thing is, Zelda and Sheik were not done that way in either of these games. So I'm not going to rank them together. So now we're done, but we're not fully done because we have to we have to split some of these up. I think the asshole tier is a little bit too big. Um, 
fine. Trained wrong as a joke. This is intentionally bad. This is for, this is for Amsa. What an asshole. Alright, I think we need to split these. I hate to do it, but... Alright. Okay. <laughs> what do you, how do you put this? Like... Wow, what a dick. <laughs> I don't know if I want to do endearing and derogatory. I don't think I like that. <laughs> wow. Whoops. Oh, I'm hacking. Wow, what an asshole. But he's so sick. <laughs> I guess don't gender it. And it's like, that's... Let me take this column out. There you go. And that's like... PM Snake... Mario... Zero Suit. Wait, no, that's Smash 4 Zero Suit. No, no, no. Uh... Sonic... DK... Oh, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Smash 4 Mario. Uh... <laughs> it's my list. It's my list. You can't stop me. It's my list. <laughs> Flirting and harassment? <laughs> yeah, actually, you're right. I think Bayonetta goes there because, like, it's it's cool to see them succeed now. Squirtle. Samus only gets a buff because she's so rare. I don't put Fox in there. I don't put Fox in there. Nope. Melee Sheik? No, I don't think she goes down. I don't think so. PM Ike, definitely? No. No. Melee Sheik, hold on. Ah, but people do love J Mook. I think, I think the Melee delegation would move Sheik down. Here we go! I'm gonna get outside of my own head. Hank, honey, please go ahead and put Terry back into the <laughs> tier where he belongs. No. Thanks, Japajit. Thank you, Arm and Hair Hammer, for the $10. I can't do that. I'm not gonna do that for $10. Come on. This is my list. I have artistic uh, credibility. I am an auteur. My creations are not subject. Oh, hold on. <laughs> I got a really funny comment that's just DM me on the YouTube. I am I am not a, a, a puppet to be controlled by your finances. I will do what I please. Melee Sheik, I think, is, uh, I think she's, I think for, for Melee, I, I will put her down there for Melee. I don't agree, but I, I'm gonna defer to Melee players, because people love, love that character. Alt Sheik? Alt, this is, uh, Smash 4 Sheik. Marth? Not doing Marth. <laughs> I'm not moving Marth. Marth's an asshole, period. No. You get Sheik, I'm not giving you Marth. No. Marth does not deserve to move. And honestly, I think Brawl Snake is so sick too. Because he'd be moving around the stage. I think Brawl Snake also moves down. He looks cool. Now if you fight him, he's miserable. Um... You wanted to move Luigi? Huh? <laughs> huh? Of all characters in this tier, you think he should move down? No. I, actually, I'd put Yoshi down. 
because it's so rare to see him pop off. I'd move it down. Brawl Falco, get the fuck out of my chat. Absolutely not. Brawl Falco does, is, is maybe the biggest asshole on this list. Sincerely. I think, I think Brawl Falco might be the biggest piece of shit on this list. Genuinely. Brawl Falco is, you just handshake to take at least 50. You have to. So he just shoots you with lasers across the stage. Miserable. He deserves his own tier. Kind of, yeah. But, you know, I have too many already. I don't like having too many tiers. Um, Lunchables, who has my favorite descriptor of any character. <laughs> Love that. Love the screaming bomb child. You guys know Lunchables invented the Dreamland clap? That kid is funny. <laughs> he is funny. At least that's what I hear. I don't know if it's true, but... Yeah, Lunchables rules. Very funny guy. Lunchables is the go for that. Nick! Nick Riddle is here. Nick, how do you feel about Brawl Zero Suit? I think she is nearly perfect. I think she's very well made. Dude, they popped off with those uh with the item thing. I think that's a sick idea. I almost put her in perfect, but not quite. Brawl ZSS is nearly perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got her like up here, but just not quite. Brawl Zero Suit is so cool, dude. She's so cool. Why is it Daisy in any tier? Because she's the same as Peach. I'm not doing that. I miss her so much. Yeah, dude. It sucks because like. Actually, Nick, maybe you feel this way, too. Like, in Brawl, they changed... Like, they totally remade Brawl DDD from Brawl to Smash 4. And I guess they kind of did that with Zero Suit to a lesser extent. Do you feel that way? Like, you got, like, a soft reboot or remake? Because DDD got, like, a hard remake, which pissed me off. But, like, Zero Suit's kind of different, you know? I think they changed her more than DDD. No. No. DDD used to be like a grab, a ranged grab, uh, like a tank. Now he's this cringe gimmick trap zoner. They're very different. DDD used to be like a grappler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about all DDD? No, no, no. What I'm saying is from Brawl to Smash 4, they like remade DDD in the same way that they remade Luigi. Like Luigi used to be this like, Hyper mobile, weird ass, like, I don't know how to put it, goofball character, but he wasn't just, like, a lot of characters got flanderized, and, like, they have one thing that they do now, which is, like, grabs. They changed just as much as Dee Dee. She used to be a high damage poker, and they turned her into a one touch character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now she's, like, a hyper mobile, hyper, hyper mobile, like, nickel and dimer. Now she's, like, six, eight, five, six. Paralyzer. Oh, you died. Like, it's like... Yeah, 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 I feel that. It's weird. Very few characters get, like, remakes. You know? Yoshi... Kind of? Not really, I guess. It's really weird. If you guys haven't played the old games, like... I mean, Bowser over old ZSS. Yeah, but you play Bowser in PM, too, right? <laughs> You're a Bowser guy. Come on. Where was PM DDD? Uh, I don't know enough about him. He's down here. Wait. Yeah, he's right there. I know he can, like, waddle dash and shit, but... I was a Link PM player. Ah, that's what it was. Okay. I remember you playing Bowser PM, but I don't remember the Link. PM Link better be high up on the list. Yeah, yeah, he is. Uh, PM Link is here. He's well made. He's good, he's good, he's good. We're good, we're good. Move PM Lucas, that character is so fucking cringe. Mother 3 fanfic. Alright, I think we got it. I think we did it. Uh, oh boy. I Do we need to split up any more tiers? I don't think so. Maybe, I think in the wrong game and in the wrong Smash game are two different things. Like... Pits 
aren't in the wrong game because they're just all three of them are basic but like if they were in a more standard fighter they'd be good but brawl mario is in the wrong smash game does that make sense You should separate good LMAO and bad LMAO? No. Good. Well, <laughs> I think it's all LMAO. I think it's all funny. Whether it's good or bad, these characters are funny. I think there's in the wrong Smash game and then like... Ah, how do I put this? In the wrong series. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Yeah. Like... But it's really just them. Put the Toon Links in there, too? Kinda, yeah. No, uh, yeah. Kind of. Smash 4 Kirby's in the wrong series, too. Cause, like, he's good, but, like, he's he's supposed to be, like, a footsies up close yeah. guy and he's not mobile. <laughs> Ultimate Luigi, Sonic, and Falco need to be in their own tier of cringe and overconfident. No. Ultimate Luigi, Sonic, and Falco? No, I don't think so. I think they're they're uh, marginally more cringe than everybody else, but not by crazy. Yeah, I think this is it. All right, now we got to color the tears. <sighs> And send it off into the world. These two are going to be up here. Okay. Count the tiers for the prediction. Oh, my bad. One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. Twenty four tiers. What was the prediction? Was it like over under twenty? <laughs> It's a two sweep. Well done, twos. What was the original? Did you guys really think it'd be one to 20? That's crazy. That's unbelievable. I don't know why you thought that. Hey, if you guys enjoyed the tier list, I haven't said this one time. I, I just wanted to give you a heads up and remind you that Twitch Prime is free and it's a way to subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and check below the stream. You can subscribe with Twitch Prime or just with a tier one like our boy Cool Dog right here. Check him out on the big TV. Don't you want to be on the big TV like Cool Dog over there? Go ahead and drop a Prime or a tier one, all right? Check it out. All right, perfect. Well made. Fine. Let me not caps it. You were under 25 minutes ago? <laughs> you should have known. There's always a burst at the end. Uh, I don't know how to order these. <laughs> All right. Let's do cool idea, but doesn't work. Logical collusion and man's folly. Here's a better way to put this. Damn it. <laughs> this is fine. In the wrong Smash game, in the wrong series entirely. 
Yippee, why is this a clone? Wow, this really sucks. I am asleep. Nintendo PSYOP. Fan PSYOP. Okay. I think we did it. <laughs> I don't want people to think Screaming Bomb Child is, like, bad. <laughs> I think he's funny. Thank you, Neuropathetic. Thanks for the five gifties. Thank you, Lazcap, also, for the prime. Fix this really sucks by renaming it through the gear. Wait, does that work? What? What? It won't stay. What? That's weird. That worked for me before? I don't know. Type it again. Hold on. I'll just do this to start. Yeah, it doesn't save. That's weird. Make a new tier. Oh, my God. <laughs> this doesn't count. Yeah, you're right. Okay. All right, everybody. We're migrating. Everybody, come on up. Where did my music go? Huh? Well, that shit's just gone. Is it here? Video paused. Continue watching? Yes! Oh, we got cozy Nintendo music. That's what this all is. All right. Is it time to make the list Twitter's problem? Dude, this is gonna... Because people... I don't know, even know if people will bother with this shit. They're gonna be like, that. I'm not reading all that. <laughs> this is really gonna test the limits of Twitter users' uh, patience. Okay. I think it's funnier to say this. <laughs> don't even name the guy. You don't have to. You know who it is. Oh, we need this. Wow, what an asshole is gray? And then, wow, what an asshole, but it's so cool. It's pink. <laughs> Hell yeah. Love those guys. No, LMAO is pink. <laughs> this one is, like, vibrant. Bright blue. Chemical X is gray. Cool idea, but doesn't work, and we'll just go back down the line. Oh, this one needs to be aware. This one's just white. Uh, in the wrong Smash game, I'll put this here. In the wrong series entirely there. Yippee is red. <clears throat> Yippee is bright green. Screaming Bomb Child is red. <laughs> Why is this a clone is light green. Wow, this really sucks is purple. I am asleep is gray. Nintendo PSYOP is red because it's Nintendo. Fan PSYOP is orange. Actually, I'll, it's another side. I don't care. It's two psyops. I don't know or don't remember. It's just black or gray. Because black, you can't see. All right, we did it. We did it, everybody. We made a tier list of every character in every Smash game, every variation. And you know what? Honestly, I think we did a pretty good job. <clears throat> I think, considering the ask. And what we had to go through, I think we did pretty good. And honestly, three hours, not bad. Ugh. What do you mean copium? Stop. It was great. It went well. Is this going to YouTube? Yeah, I think so. You'll find this on YouTube next week. By the way, Monday is, uh, is a sponsor video for Star Trek Fleet Command. So remember to engage. I think. We haven't gotten news back, but I think that's what it is. <laughs> Finally. All right, let's post this list. Uh, you know what's going to be funny? Every once in a while when I post these, somebody will make their own. And they'll be like, this is what I think. And I don't read that shit. But like now, <laughs> you think somebody's going to make this? You think somebody's going to be like, here's my take. <laughs> 200 plus characters. All right. All right, hold on. I'm going to do this. Every version of every Smash character 
ever ranked. We'll be answering all questions. <laughs> I'll answer all the questions. <laughs> hey, man, it's the least I could do. You put something like this out into the world, you know? I'll answer every question. People will think about how viable they are. I don't... I hope they don't. It's designed and not viability. I think people will get that. I think people will understand that. I don't think I have to say that, you know? Coney, it's Twitter. Don't assume. Well, if they get mad, then they get mad. I don't care. I'm not explaining it. All right, here we go. You guys ready? All right, I'm typing in the codes. Let's both hit the button at the same time. Ready? All right, everybody hit the big red button on three, two, one, and it's their problem now. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my god! Oh my god! What have I done? What have I done? I've created a monster! This is my problem! <laughs> I just set this out into the world! Hey, if you guys want to read it, remember to right-click, open image, and new tab. That's the way to do it. There you go. <laughs> Oh my god. Love that. <laughs> oh my god. What a disaster. I'm gonna have a lot of people that mix up the ultimate and the Smash 4 renders. They're gonna be like, why is this here? And they're not gonna. Oh, this is fun. This is a good one. <laughs> this rules. Hey, did you guys like it as much as I did? Yeah. I know that you did. <laughs> oh, see? He agrees, too. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. This was a three and a half hour tier list, so I'm going to go to bed. I'll see you guys next time. Remember to subscribe. Tell them what to do, chat. Tell them what to do. Do what this guy says. If you tell them what to do, I'll point. Do what that guy said. Sub subscribe. Subscribe. It's going too fast. <laughs> subscribe. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye. Everybody say goodbye. Goodbye, chat. Goodbye, YouTube. Goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Coney, let's raid HBox. Mods, ban that. He got away. <laughs> Mods, get rid of that guy. Do your job. I have a great idea. Let's go raid HBox. Okay. This might be fun on YouTube. I have no idea. I think the YouTube comments are going to be worse than the Twitter comments. Whew. Man. Hi, Ferd. Thanks for the tier one. Thanks for stopping by. Dude, my voice is... You sound toasted? Yeah. I, Dude, I, I stream all the time. I don't know why these three hours fucked me up. I'm getting sick again. Like I said, I... I I hate it because I just got over being sick and I'm sick again, so. Uh, Sunday is React Night. We're going to be watching some stuff. I think I might go on a couple Reddits or two. We're going to be farming some stuff. It's going to be fun. So we're doing that on Sunday. Uh, and then I don't know what else. Oh, Monday I think is Scribble Knots. So definitely subscribe to the YouTube because that was a fun stream. I had a good time. Um, You should make a Reddit suggestion channel. Yeah. Honestly, I should, right? All right, before we go, though, guys, you know I gotta tell you about something I am super passionate about, all right? This is something I care deeply about, and that's online privacy. You know what's not fair? The fact that Netflix hides thousands of shows and movies from you based on your location, and then has the nerve to increase their prices on you. What? That's right, they just raised their prices once again. And now you could just cancel your subscription and protest, or you could be smart about it and make sure you're getting your full money's worth by using ExpressVPN, like I do. That's right, ExpressVPN. 
See, you might not know what's on Netflix in your country is completely different from what someone in the UK or Japan has on theirs. But using ExpressVPN, I can control which country I want Netflix to think I'm in. ExpressVPN has over 90 countries to choose from, so every time I run out of stuff to watch, I just switch to another country to unlock new shows. Right now, I'm watching... <laughs> Look at this screen. And now I'm watching show. All right, well, right now... <laughs> Mallory was watching 1899. Mallory was watching 1899, which was on U.S. Netflix. Uh, yeah, I, I, but when I want to watch something that's not on U.S. Netflix, with one tap of a button, ExpressVPN lets me change my location to country to watch it. And here's the best part. It's not just for Netflix. You can use ExpressVPN to unlock shows on streaming services, too. I like to use it to watch BBC iPlayer. It's free and only available in the UK. Why did they write that one? <laughs> they wrote that one out for me. I need another one of those. ExpressVPN is also super fast and works on your phone, laptop, and even smart TVs. So you can watch your shows on the big screen with zero buffering. So be smart. Stop paying full price for streaming services like a dummy and only getting access to a fraction of their content. Get your money's worth at expressvpn.com slash Coney. And when you tell them Coney sent you, you're going to get three months free. Look at that. Expressvpn.com slash Coney. Check it out right now. Thanks for watching. And thank you to ExpressVPN for sponsoring tonight's stream. <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, I'm going to go to bed. I'll see you guys on Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Who wants to read H-Box? <laughs> Woo! Uh... Did Atriarch just go live? Real Rumble tomorrow? Oh, hell yeah. I think Atriarch just went live. Alright, go watch Atriarch, bro. Y'all go have fun. Uh, I'll see you guys... Sunday. React night. If y'all want to watch that uh, Diddy Kong Racing movie, go ahead and watch it. We're going to be watching it together. I'm going to add that NVIDIA thing for extra for the ad reads in the future. That sounds funny. Bye. How I love this pretty bed. Now I'll rest my weary head. Good night.